Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining my co-host Mary and I for another Spiritual Learning Thursday. Every Thursday, we go over a different topic. After we play the video on the topic, we'll take any questions that anyone has and we'll try to answer them the best that we can. If you have any ideas on what you would like to learn about in the next upcoming videos, please leave a comment. We will be with you shortly. If you would be so kind as to take this time to give a like and share out the video, it would be greatly appreciated. Sit back, enjoy the show. Thank you so much again for coming. You know, play some to you too. What mess? You'd be willing to chalk up. <laughs> You're not on mute anymore. <laughs> oh <my God>. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, <Okay>. everyone. <laughs> I didn't want you to say anything funny. <laughs> hey, everyone, and welcome in. <laughs> So today, as you guys know, we are going over Spirit Box Basics. So we're going to give you a little history on the Spirit Box and a little background on how it works. And this was um, prompted by... Sorry. This was prompted by Crystal, who asked if we could do this video because she wanted to know more about how Spirit Boxes worked. So, yeah, go ahead. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Aunt Kat. Hi, Scott. Hi, Kelly. Um, let me go over here and see who's on yours. Hi, Maybe. Scott. I didn't see Scott because he's on yours. Hi, Aunt Kat. There we go. Oh, I, I just wrote it up there, Christine. I don't know. They... They couldn't, they said they couldn't verify something. Um, yeah, Mary told me, so I have to go on the laptop after this Hi, and find out what it is that they couldn't verify and fix it. So hopefully it will be fixed by tomorrow. Hopefully it's a quick fix. Um, so... Hi. Sorry. It doesn't say you're a salesperson. Well, you know, um, yeah, I mean, if, if it's a traveling salesperson where you go to, yeah, Christine, sorry about that, where you go to, um, you know, you travel around and, and, and you go to different offices, you know, showing the people what you're selling, it might be okay, it's still traveling, um, Scott, so who knows? <laughs> Yep, but so today we're doing Spirit Box. So after this session, just to warn everybody, uh, if I, it won't be right away, but um, we'll take some questions after the video and then um, we'll do a short Spirit Box session. I have the SB7T 
to show you guys. Um, I just went over actual spirit boxes. Um, didn't do touch on apps and stuff. Just the regular spirit boxes. There's Crystal. Um, so oh. yeah, we're doing actual, you know, the actual, I guess, um, research devices, not the, uh, <clears throat> um, not the apps just yet. Um, I did just touch on the apps that do the words because there are spirit boxes, which will just put out words. Um, but for that, you know, I wouldn't pay for it. They're very expensive recently. Um, and they're getting more and more expensive. So I would not, you know, recommend some boxes and we'll go all into that in the video. So whenever you guys are ready, I am, we usually wait at least, you know, another five minutes, make sure everybody came in, um, and was shared out, but It was local, not traveling. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a. Uh... Sorry, Kim, uh, you're here already, but I still shared it to you. I apologize for my rudeness. <laughs> well, Scott, you might get, you know, you could, you could try it if nothing else. They may want you to drive the people around that is selling, maybe. Could be. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what it is. It they say it's way easier to find a job um when you already have a yeah. job. So you know, sometimes you know you take a job to have a job so that while you're looking. Um so that's what they say. I don't know. Hi, Christine. It's okay. I'm I don't here. Oh, you look okay. I'm here. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Yeah, sorry. I just wanted to share a few more um, things and I hit you by accident. <laughs> share to the sisters who aren't here. All righty. Just to make sure we don't miss anybody. Um, thank you for all the hellos. You're welcome, Crystal. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so that's what we're doing today. And, um, Hopefully, I want to put my camera backwards now before we even start, before I turn on the cam. <laughs> so it's not facing me. I did not get myself all pretty for you guys today. So you probably won't be seeing me. You'll see the EMF in the spirit box, though. So. I'm sure you don't look that bad. <laughs> even without makeup. Hmm. I have a little makeup on. It's my hair. That's a damn disaster. <laughs> Put it up. Put it it's, up. up. it's up in a big old bun on top of my head, but it's still. There like, you go. It's, it's good. I should have hey. washed. Perfect but, all the know, I didn't feel like washing my hair today. So that's it's all. okay. It ain't that big of a deal. That's right. It's not because I'm not going today. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, it's okay. I'm telling you to show yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That's right. <laughs> we don't care. We're just here to uh, fabulous. Thank you, Kim. Now, I think we're we're ready. It's basically right. talking to customers, but to drive to drop off storage trailers and people's driveways oh all right so that doesn't seem so bad so i'm gonna mute myself mary's gonna do this and then we'll take any questions right after here we go here. Yes. Hello and welcome to another Spiritual Learning Thursday. Today we got a question from our viewer. 
She wants to know how the spirit box works. So we'll be going over what's in your paranormal toolbox. And our first segment will be the spirit box. Let's dive in. What's in your paranormal toolbox will depend on what kind of investigator you are. Most investigators will have some kind of device to speak to the spirits. Let me give you a little history on the spirit box. In 1969, a middle-aged Latvian doctor, Konstantin Radif, turned up in Gerard's Cross with a large collection of tape recordings. Recordings he claimed of conversations he had with the then-deceased Hitler, Mussolini, and many more 20th century statemen. And this wasn't just a few recordings. By that point, Constantine had 72,000 recordings containing these voices. His techniques differed slightly from the techniques of many paranormal investigators of today. Rather than asking questions and seeing what answers that you would get, he simply asked a question and left the tape running, recording, silence. Gerard's Cross is the name of the house of publisher Colin Smythe. Constantine was hoping that by revealing his findings to Smythe, he would publish a book on them. In order to convince the head of the publishing house that this was a worthy book topic and not just a hoax, the pair held a series of electronic sessions in Gerard's Cross, using the same setup that Constantine had used in the past with apparent great success. The sessions went so well that the pair had succeeded with getting the book called Breakthrough published and EVPs and RVPs were on the paranormal investigating scene. The process of capturing the words of these RVPs challenged slightly over the years as different investigators came into play. Nowadays, the most common way is to use a spirit box or ghost box to scan through the radio frequencies recording the findings so that the investigator can listen back to them after the investigation and carefully examine their findings. There is no complete understanding of how RVP works, but there are many different theories and techniques used by paranormal investigators and enthusiasts to generate speech through a device. So how does a spare box work? While indeed it is a radio, it has a slight modification that enables it to rapidly scan multiple stations at once, as opposed to a standard radio that's nonstop and plays a single station at once. The aim of a ghost scanner radio or spirit box is to scan all the stations repeatedly, scanning both AM and FM without stopping at a specific frequency, since it is believed that ghosts or spirits tend to communicate on different radio frequencies. Therefore, it does not stop upon finding a channel as it would a regular radio. Essentially, a ghost or spirit box picks up on the paranormal activity while scanning the stations. It detects noises, audio, voices, and only pauses but not stops on a given station to capture an incoming message, mainly in the form of a whole phrase or sentence. So what are some additional features that a spirit box has that a radio doesn't? Depending on which one you use, you might have the ability to record and save the recordings. Speeding up or slowing down the process of the scanning, also adjustable sweep directions, noise cancellation and audio filters, backlight displays, built-in flashlights, and you can use with an external speaker most of them. Temperature meters are also on a lot of them that show raises and falls in the temperature at the location you're at. But apart from that, it's no different from a standard radio. It's worth noting that some investigators use standard radios instead of spirit boxes. So what does a spirit box do? It is believed that spirits can communicate with people using white noise, which is why most paranormal investigators and hunters of ghosts 
have one of these devices amongst their paranormal equipment. If you're wondering why people resort to a spirit box instead of a standard radio station, which could also be used, the reason is that it's been proven through research that sounds other than our everyday spoken language can be captured on a spirit box. How to use it? Easy. Power it on. Try to be in a location where you feel is a little active. And start the scanning process. It's advised to scan on FM, but if you prefer, you can use AM. Moreover, there are no rules when it comes to the speed of the scanning or the sweep rate you set it to. That's up to you. My preference is to use my PSB7T spirit box on FM reverse at a sweep rate of 150. Some general tips for a better experience. Start asking the spirits questions. If you're getting too many radio stations coming through, you can switch from AM to FM, which may reduce them. On that note, it's important to remember to be cautious of your language and word choice. You need to be polite and respectful during any communication with spirits. It's only then when you probably will start receiving messages back. On that note, you should leave a long pause between your questions and responses. Leave sufficient time for the spirits to answer back and not overwhelm them with multiple questions at once while using a spirit box. While you're communicating with the spirits during your session or investigation, you should be listening for relevant voices or audio responses. In other words, communications should make sense and be comprehensible. If you're asking what day it is and it's a Monday, you should hear Monday in response to your question and not something like fruitcake. It should make sense. Speaking of which, it's better to remain silent while waiting for a response to your question, since some sounds can be challenging to hear without audio editing. Most of all, patience. It will take time to tune your ear to pick up on exact words or phrases being said. The big question, do you need one? Well, if you're trying to prove the paranormal, then it's a helpful tool to have in your stash. Speaking of trying to prove the paranormal, it would be helpful if you also had other devices along with your spirit box, like an EMF meter, a motion sensor light, or even a regular recording device that might pick up something that the spirit box didn't. The next question, which one is the right one for you? Let's go over some options. Speaking from experience from someone who bought all six different types of spirit boxes, it's not necessary. You only need one, and if you're starting out, I would start with the SB7T. And the reason is because it's so simple to use, and it's best on training your ears so you can understand other spirit boxes. The SB11 also works well. However, there's a lot of functions, and it takes a long time to learn. Not great for beginners. The S-Box I disliked the most. It does have a recording feature, but I find it clearer even to record a regular spirit box on a second device. Then you have the hacked radio devices, which you can find on like eBay and Etsy. I highly recommend you do not purchase one of these. Usually they don't work. Then you have the spirit boxes that have just the words. For this, use an app. You don't need to spend the money on the actual box. Then you have what they call the spirit portals. And these can run you anywhere from $450 to $1,000 and upward. I don't recommend you buy these, especially if you're starting out. Especially since, keep in mind, the sounds that you're hearing may not reflect intelligent patterns. And many responses will be picked up from legitimate radio stations. So keep a skeptical head on. With all the paranormal tools out there, 
it's not necessary for you to take out a second mortgage on your house in order to speak to them. Thank you so much for joining us in another spiritual learning video. Please check out our spiritual learning playlist for more. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell for more content. We'll see you again soon. All righty. Thank you, everybody. I'm glad you liked it. Um, yeah, so I went over the basics. I went over um, different types of spirit boxes. And we even did the history, which was quite interesting to hear. Because I really um, n never really looked into the history of the spirit box. So is super interesting um you can also of course get evps on regular recording devices uh if you of course cannot afford the spirit box um scott how much are they on amazon the last time i went to purchase one um because i i wanted to give one to i wanted to gift one to tina so i gifted mine to tina so i needed a new one um because i wanted her to be able to do crossovers and i the cheapest i found was on walmart and it was 85 dollars. when i first started six years back they were expensive at 55 to 60. so adding 20 to 25 dollars more for it six years later wow i was like i should have bought a whole bunch <laughs> when they were cheaper <laughs> 130 to 200 Thirty dollars. That's insane, Scott. Insane. Look at Walmart. You might be able to get still an SB. It was just last year. I got one for eighty-five dollars on Walmart. Um, <clears throat> there's Thanks, also an app you could get. Yes, there's there's apps. Um, the one I thing I want to say though to all this, mm -hmm. you need to say a prayer before you do it. Whatever religion you have, you need protection before you do this because you are essentially opening a door to the paranormal. So you need to protect yourself when you use any of this, any equipment, period, that delves in, in the afterlife. So I would say, say a prayer before and a closing prayer after and tell them that they cannot stay there, that they have to leave. And that you do not invite any negative in. That is my recommendation. I know you don't have to do it, but I would suggest that you highly think about it. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, even atheists, you know, you can still ask for protection. You can ask with intention that no negative come through you can use crystals holy water i don't know black it, salt it you know grow. like your witch witchy more in the witchy and not um into like you know god and stuff because plenty of people you know who are atheists and stuff still can be you know into the paranormal i've seen it it's weird but it happens so even if you're not big on the prayers and stuff you can with intention um ask that nothing negative come through you can use black salt that's a witch thing it's not a you know god thing you know <laughs> so you could definitely do that um so yeah so mary's right you should have some kind of protection on that's okay evie sorry we finished the video but we are going to do some spirit box now um what makes sense you don't know what you're inviting in protection is a must yes protection is a must so with that being said i do have one app that i've been using for six years it's not even available anymore i don't think in the <laughs> play store it's old 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 but my spirits and i got used to it 
the reason why and if you go way back when to the, like the beginning of my videos i know i have a thousand <laughs> um but if you go way back to when i started about six years ago you will see that i tested a whole bunch of apps yeah, I don't know how good that video is because it was six years ago, but I did do test a whole bunch of apps at that time um, just to see. And basically the reason why I picked this app that I still have on all my phones, thank God that I can't get rid of all my, any of my phones <laughs> um, is because <laughs> when i was testing them so the first bunch of them the first bunch of um, ones that i tested there was too much talking first of all for me uh, from for me i was like it's an app i don't know what a, a what kind of range it would have and i don't believe there's this many you know spirits in my backyard so I, you know, went through them. Now I wouldn't be able to say that, but back then I was able to say that. So I went through them and I was like, no, no, no. And then some of them had absolutely no talking at all. And I'm like, I don't know, you know, um, but they still have background noise. So the reason why I picked mine was so, and this is your spirit's preference too. Okay. So I know a lot of people say all different things about apps and stuff like that. Listen, thank you, Crystal. To me, th thank you, Crystal. To me, it's on the preference of your spirit guides, what they can use and what they prefer to use, okay? Because some of my spirits will not, for anything, use the pendulum. They don't like it. They don't want to. I don't know. They don't know how. They don't want to learn. Whatever it is, um, they will not. Um, they'll talk my ear off before they will tell me something, you know, like answer me on the pendulum. Some of them can kind of do the pendulum, but they much rather have spirit rods. So this also holds true with any devices you're going to use paranormally. So basically, I downloaded this one app and I wasn't getting anything. And I was like, oh, this is this is good, you know, okay, there's nothing here maybe. And I walked into my house off my porch and you even hear the door close, this, this open and close my, my sliding door. And as soon as I get two steps into the house, it says, delete it. And I was like, oh, damn. And that was the start of my paranormal journey journey with that spirit box app and the one i still have because i understood they didn't want to um I I didn't want me getting into it at this at that time or something you know whatever it was um that or that spirit didn't want to talk um they you know that was the message delete it so i was like ah then this one works and that's why you know so before you settle on one or you you go with the reviews of other people's you download one use it for you know a day okay download another one use it for a day find which one works best for you um and what makes sense to you and what you think works have a good dinner eli so yeah so with that being said, let me see if I can, what you're seeing here. Okay. All righty. <laughs> let me try to turn on. I'll try to turn that on. Ah, hi, spirits. We, we're going to test the Spirit Box app. Will you be kind enough to talk on there? Okay. We'll do, I'll do the app first, and then I'm going to do the SB7, okay? I know we don't do that other than crossovers. Today, we're going to test it for the everybody, okay? All righty. So, guys, you can see this, right? You, you can see this? <laughs> I think so. Oh, Mary, I'm going to put me bigger. Is that okay? Fine. So they can see the, I don't know how much they could see, but 
Uh, okay. Uh, I think that works. Does it go full screen? What the heck here? Damn ass thing. Now. Yeah. Um, That's good. Leave it like that. I do not can't see if it's big, if it's oh God. What? This <laughs> I don't know. Somehow it's not working. That's as big as it gets, guys. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> Usually it takes the full screen. I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> Anywho. Because you got a background going, it I don't know why it's not going any bigger than that. No, because the, the video went full screen, so I don't know. Who knows? Anyway. Well, is this a video? It's a video, isn't it? No, it's my. Um, I, turned my ca- I turned on my camera. <laughs> that's what I thought. I'm like, that's not. It's not a video, so that's why it's not going full screen. Yeah, I guess so. Um. So okay. So there's my EMF meter. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you the app first, real quick. So this this just is the app that I use. Pop you. And. We'll allow the audio and stuff. I haven't done this in a while. I, I don't really use it on this phone. I use it on the other phone, but I'm streaming on the other phone. So um, let's see if we can we can use this. Okay. So it's super easy. I don't pay for it. The only ads you get is it going to be in the very beginning. It does not do ads during your. Oh. Okay, there you go. There's the ad. I couldn't see. Sorry. So you get the ad first. Okay, and and watch your TikTok ad. Okay. And then this is what it looks like. It has an EMF meter. I don't ever use it on the phone. I don't think they really work on the phone. Um, but this one has a sweep rate. Oops. It has a sweep rate here. It has a record and a play for the spirits. So my spirits like it faster. I know. I'm sorry, guys. I put the phone too close. Let me just move this here. because I'm driving the EMF meter crazy. <laughs> All righty. <clears throat> so. There we go with that. So, so I'm going to hit. Let's see. Okay, sweep rate's pretty fast. Hi, Sarah. Sarah. Ah, can. Can Sarah or Billy say hello or their names? Hello. So that's what the app looks like. Then you can go and you can play this back at different speeds. So that's why I really liked this app. Because you can do all those features. Okay. So that's just a little bit on what kind of uh, the app i use but like i said i don't even know if they have it anymore but you can go to the app store there's about 10 million and you can find of course what app uh works for you all right What happened? Do we have a... Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't see the... Okay. I'm like, I don't see the picture. Uh, my YouTube must have stopped on there. I was like, I don't see the picture or anything. It's all black on my YouTube. But now I realize it's just, <laughs> just YouTube being YouTube. Okay, so now we have the spirit box. Picture pop. This, the spirit box shouldn't interact with 
this so much because a it's not on yet <laughs> um but i am gonna leave it further away from there because it does have a battery so eventually when i turn it on and the speaker will mess with it so don't leave your devices close to your emf meter because it's going to give you mixed signals which is why you see i have my emf meter in my little wood box here for today so that um it doesn't it shouldn't get too many <laughs> um interference from anything too much around it it's not near any wires or anything all my wires are on the other side so it should be good what was the name of that app that is the sgk1 so it's made by spotted ghosts now they make a lot of them so you can definitely go on the play store or the apple store and look for spotted ghosts and you should be able to find whatever he's came out with now new stuff i guess that one was older <laughs> but still my favorite um and you, hey who knows you might even be able to email him or you know maybe they have a get in touch with uh, that that you know one and be like hey do you still have this um i like it i want to you know and, and they're sometimes able to send you the link you know for you to download the older versions of their items. So here we go. I'm going to turn this on. I wanted to just give you guys all a second because some people do not like the spirit box, but I'm going to turn on the spirit box. I'm going to show you this way. Okay. So you see, I have the SB7T. The T is for temperature. I don't ever use the temperature really. It's annoying to me, especially when I'm outside. Hello, Gothic. I use a external speaker. And what I'll do is I'll show you the difference with and without it. It makes a big difference. Um, so you really should have some kind of external speaker. You could get these little guys, I think on Timu for a few bucks. Um, they have all different kinds. It needs the headphone jack. This particular one doesn't have any USB. It doesn't have any of that stuff. It takes regular AAA batteries and an external speaker because of the, the jack. Now you can also put headphones in here if you're doing this privately and you don't need to record it and you just want to listen. You can put it with your headphones and just listen and talk to the spirits you do not have to use the external speaker if you don't want to the speaker there's two there's two ports goes in where your headphones would go into okay so that part's super easy when you turn it on you have a whole bunch not a whole bunch this is the best one it has six it's a power you have am and fm the volume up and down, the speed forward or reverse, uh, and then you have the backlight and the sweep rate. So how I use mine is on FM in reverse always, because I feel you get less radio chatter in reverse. <laughs> and at 150, um, I think they call it MMs as the sweep rate. Okay. So like I said, I would put it on FM. I put it in reverse and the sweep rate is 150. The sweep rate is my spirit guides like it fast. So that is a faster sweep. Um, yeah. Can you, you like it fast, right? <laughs> Yeah, you see, they go up to orange. Okay, so they like the sweep rate fast. The reason why I said in the video, it's not necessary to, it's not like any pref preference of your own of what the sweep rate is. It's the preference really of who's going to speak on it because to you, it makes no difference. It does to some people in the way that they hear it. But you can always, if it's recorded on a second device, 
you can always slow it down or speed it up depending on, you know, how you hear it the best. Um, but welcome back, Emmy. Welcome back. So that's, that's what it has to do with. That's what the sweep rate is. I leave mine, like I said, on 150 because my spirits like it. Plus it sounds better to my ear also, which is originally why I put it there. And maybe that's why they learned, um, how to talk on that. And they don't like any other ones now. And every time I have the sweep rate too slow, they're more than sure to tell me about it. So, um, <laughs> So that's another thing, just, you know, you, you can ask them, is this rate good for you? You know, it's, it's, it's good for me or whatever, you know, um, up on the screen, it will show you how much battery you have. Um, and this is the, I guess it's like a, a little flashlighty thing. And then we have, this one has the temperature gauge, which is on the side there. It's a little button. And that's it. That's about what the spirit box has. Like I said, it has the speaker. It's very low. I'm going to turn this on now, guys. So um, anybody who wants to say their prayer or, you know, needs to take out their headphones, get their headphones, <laughs> turn off the volume, whatever you guys want to do, now's the time. Okay, so um, you just hit the power. Now I have this plugged in, so you're not going to hear anything. And I just kind of wanted to show you, I know this is backwards, but you could see the 150. You can see that it's on FM right over the 150. Let's put the backlight on for a second. Okay. Um, and you could see the battery and the L, when you hit it, L30, that's I have it all the way. 30 is the highest, which is why, because 30 is the highest, you use the external speaker to hear better, um, especially if you're recording and you're going to walk away from the spirit box if it's stationary a little. So that's it on that. So now we're going to do, that's the temperature. You see the temperature going up and down 66, 67. Okay. So that's temperature. Um, now we're going to put the sweep rate on reverse. So you see it's going backwards. And then. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second, spirits. So that's with the external speaker. You see the difference? With the regular speaker, you can barely hear it. Yeah, you've got to have an external speaker. You really need the external speaker. Hi, yeah, just one second, guys. I know they're they're really talking today. Hi, Shelly. So I'm gonna leave it on a little and let it play, and you guys can talk to the spirits. I heard somebody say his name was Steve. So hello, Steve. Hi. Um. So I don't know who Steve is. If you want to ask any questions to the spirits, please put it in the chat. Steve might be in cat. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna lower this for a second. They're they're probably still talking. This is why I don't use my SB7 unless I'm doing crossovers. There's no way in the world I could possibly keep up <laughs> with the it's 69 hard, spirits I have here, plus anybody else who wants to talk on this. So it's hard, but they did say Tina, Kim, and Evie. Yeah. Um and it would be easier. So what I'm going to do is for a second, because I can't hear what Mary's saying or anything. So what I'm going to say to the spirits is, can you guys do me a favor one at a time? Uh, let's do like pauses because there's no way anybody can hear all this. And That's then what we're going to do is I'm going to try to read some of the chat questions and if you guys can answer them like um or you can answer some of my questions that i would ask you that would be great so this is also why guys that you Hi, really have to hey carl record your sessions because how in the world would you keep up with this you wouldn't be able to you have to have a second device to record and to be able to slow down, play back, listen over and over again. So was that Kathy saying hi? We're going to find out. Let's see. Okay. So here we go. We're going to put the volume on again. Sorry, spirit. I don't care what you're doing. <laughs> oh, okay, then. Part of Spirits, can you tell us how many spirits are talking with us? Is there 19 spirits talking with us? Well, we're 20 guys. I think. Not even 
not even close. <laughs> All right, well, tell me how many. gonna lower it i'm not even gonna turn i'll let them talk so okay <laughs> um so as you see a lot coming through 
uh, not even close with 19 or 20 spirits. There's way more you can tell, like, um, but you know, they're not gonna, they're not gonna tell, like they didn't want to give up how many, but I took a walk and I had two days off from crossovers, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I'm off from crossover. Oh, somebody's calling me. Um, so because I was off from crossing overs, I probably have tons and tons of people here because I had two days off. So I'm dead. It's mean responsive. Um, so yeah, so I probably have tons of people here. I have a big boulevard, Northern Boulevard, um, two blocks away from it. So I don't know if he was talking about that because we did go out to the store. Um, so yeah, so it's a lot. And I send people to your house. Oh, maybe that's why they're saying your name, Evie, because I normally ask them. So yeah, so that's that's the spirit box, guys. Um, what I can do though is put on the ghost tube. That's another app that I like. Um, because this is like overwhelming today with all these people here. Um, so what we'll do is I'll put on this the app, um, the ghost seer, and we're gonna see if they can give us some pictures of what they want to tell us because that might be a little easier. And then I even have another app, I believe, on this phone called the Paratech that does just words. And then maybe we can get a little more sense of that. I like the ghost seer, ghost tube too. Yes, I do. You know, it's a little quieter. So spirits loves, we're going to turn this off for a second. We're going to try to give you some other things to communicate. Yeah, I like it too. Um, to see, you know, because we're testing different things out. Thank you so much for talking on the apps. I appreciate it very much. So I'm going to, where's the Paratech? I'll show you the Paratech first. Um, because a lot of you know the ghost seer. So this is the Paratech. The Paratech's pretty easy. You turn it on. Started scanning. Stop. Stop what? <laughs> um, and it just basically gives you what? Can you tell me your name? If I put it against here um, and I'm not touching it, can you tell me your name? Just turn one on and I'll turn one on and see what we get. Oh, yeah. This one, I'm just... Dynamic. Di dynamic. I don't have that one. I've wow. got... <laughs> if you're talking about me, thank you. <laughs> no, I just, I just bother them. Uh, can you tell me your name, sweetheart? So we know that you're, you can hear us. Spirit talker. No, I normally don't, Shelly. I, I put them on separately. But so this one, like I said, is one with just words. If they can figure out how to use it, it's Versus. a little it's a little harder, but they will be able to talk. A lot of them like this one, Paratech one, where they do just the words and then you're gonna put together what they're trying to say to you. You do not need to spend the money on the box for this. You can just um download one of these apps they have a lot of them find which one works best for you and that's it um i'm trying i'm, I'm trying to see if um you guys can find your hand. name hand okay i'm trying to see if you guys can find your name to tell me fair talker just said trust the woman and it said witchcraft after that. Mm -hmm. Spirits, I got spirit talker on too. So you, not only hers, you can talk in mine. 
Oh, they did say Chico a few times, Kim. So definitely he was trying to talk to you. Consist. Stop dynamic versus hand consist. I mean, you can, like Mary and I will each put a device on and we could talk and see if the same person comes through. Or we could both put on our, she could put on her spirit box and try to talk to my spirits here. We could do a lot of that stuff. Um, but me, myself, I will only, besides, you know, the EMF meter. Yard. Um, or the like, on one at a time myself at, at my house, right? Or the little ball, like I'll put other devices with the spirit box to right. see if they go off while the spirit box is being used. That I will do. I won't, um, put on multiple spirit boxes, I'll have a heart attack. I almost have right. a heart attack with the one on. Never <laughs> mind, <laughs> maybe you could put this one on with your regular box and see if they come you know Strong. they come together um you know the words here will come like something on the spirit box you could do that an app like this that only says the words and you could put the volume down and they can do it while you're doing your spirit box that'd be good shelly wants to know do you know her favorite color Baby. Wow, that's cool, Carl. Baby, and what's baby, sweetheart? I know this one's a little harder. You gotta find the words, but they don't yeah, have your name. They don't have your name in there, sweetheart, where you could tell me your name. I had this one on the other night and they were talking left and right to it. Supply it says supply supply what? Kitten. Baby kittens. Ooh, cute. What kind of baby kittens? Where'd you get these baby kittens from? These are probably the kiddos talking about little baby kittens. They probably God knows that they brought some baby kittens home. I don't know. <laughs> I know we have Tigs here, which is one kitty. But um, yeah, so this one, like I said, is an app that just has words. And then yeah. you have to try to decipher because they'll. The well, ones... I just got a name. Isabella. Who's Isabella? Anybody know an Isabella? When they get, when they really figure out how to pull these words out, because these are a little harder. It's a big, humongous word bank, and they got to pull out the words and put them. Okay. So. When when they really figure it out, they'll go for hours, paragraphs, words, and like you have to figure out their stories. And sometimes it's two people telling their stories, so you got to decipher them. So you really, when you're doing something like this, got to work with them. Like, hey, only one person talk. I want to know one story. I want you to start with your name and your age, and then your story. Yeah. You know, and then um, headline. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You still didn't tell me your name, sweetheart. Um, so, you know, and this one's harder, like I said, because they have to pull out a word and sometimes the words will not make sense together. Oh, I got because, Isabella. Is one of the kids named Isabella? Uh, oh, it says relation. Stop. Stop. Are you relation to me or relation to who? Isabella. I have a lot of kiddos here. Isabella was four, but she crossed over Isabella, the Isabella I had here. Yeah, she went over. He's in. You know, so we have to do that sometimes. Well, maybe somebody <laughs> has somebody they know somebody that says Isabella. Mm -hmm. You guys know an Isabella? Hesitant. It's past. Oh, and I have another. I I should say I do have 
they they call her Izzy though. She's eight. Isabella, are you the one? Izzy, uh, talking to um, talk to Mary. Izzy. She's an angel. An angel. Time. Because I do have, yeah, we, she she likes to be called Izzy, but her name is Isabella. She's eight. Izzy, are you the one that's coming through on mine is Isabella? You can answer on, on Christina's or mine, either one. improve all right so while you're doing that one mary i'm gonna put on the ghost seer for a second all right you do that one i'll do the ghost seer maybe we'll see what the you can you can say some more names of anybody that's around do you want to put your name on here or anything you would like to say hi no, ice this is ice i want to see if i could put this up where you guys could see it better okay there we go oh there you go oh a nice picture of a clown you see this guys it's a clown Maybe that's from Kathy, because Kathy is Izzy's, um, Izzy's, Evie's, <laughs> hi. Romantic. Romantic. I got My thing is still going. I turned it off, and I put this app on, and it's still going. Can both apps be going at the same time? That's a little nutty. Ernest, I got the name Ernest. Hmm. Um, Kathy's family was, um, from the the circus, yes. Hi, Christina, can you ask if Ty I once is here. Hyde or Ty is I here. Lived here. Oh, okay. It said tied, Christina. Well, Ernest, nice to meet you. They were clowns at the circus. Wow, Evie, yeah, maybe that picture was from Kathy then. Hi, Jen. Yeah. We're just testing out different apps, and we tested out the spirit box, and we have the word one going. Learn. Today we're just learning about different apps to talk to spirits with. Um, came from Crystal, who wanted to learn about the spirit boxes. I guess the earnest I got used to live here. He says I once lived here. Hmm. Are you the one that come through the other night and didn't talk to me? <sighs> and I felt like you lived here before or that you lived here one time. Is that you? Kathy said it was from her. There you go. I knew as soon as I saw it, it was from her. Thank you, Kathy. Police. Police. Did police get you? <laughs> they're out here a lot. You trying to say they're out here now? They probably are. 20 oh are you 20 years old is that what the 20 was about i did say 19 it was more and more than one of us heard that but they probably just you know did a quick 19 because there were so many that they just 
Blurted yeah. it out. Or maybe not all the, the amount they were seeing. Mm -hmm. Raymond. Raymond? Raymond. I got a cousin named Raymond, but he's still alive. Better be. <laughs> Hi, Raymond. Oh, maybe that spirit. Maybe that's, cool that. in, uh, Raymond, that's how he found you. Beach round. Culture. I don't have a round room, but. Oh, uh, are you, uh, they might be talking about Boomer. <laughs> Boomer has some kind of portal in his little storage room there. Right, but I, I think I've got one Angel. here, but it's not round. Okay, it said Angel twice now. Angel, is that your name? And we got a weird picture of sword. I don't know if it's bodies on a beach. And that looks like a skelly bob. It has a light behind it, so it's hard to tell, but it looks like, I don't know, two skeletons. One's standing up dusting, and the other one's sitting down. <laughs> I don't know why they're, she's dusting still. I mean, but yeah, you know. The room has changed from what it was. Yeah, that's why, Carl, I was thinking you were talking about Boomer because Boomer just changed around his room. He has that portal right under the stairs there that leads to the back room. And that room... Yeah, he did change his living room around, like, recently. He changed, he changed it around within the last two days. So I, I, I feel like that's Boomer. Capable. Yeah. Um, I have an Uncle Raymond, Shelly says. Is he passed, Shelly? I don't know. I didn't see a ship, Evie. Just bodies on a beach. Can, Evie wants to know, was that a shipwreck with the bodies on the beach? Can you say yes or no in Mary's app or my app? Source. I know my EMF uh, when we said that went to red. So, yeah. Raymond, Shelly's Shelly's uncle. So you see the EMF. So I have the phone near it, but but okay. Can you go to red if it was a shipwreck or close to it? If it was a shipwreck. Yeah. I know you did go to red. <laughs> yes, okay. So yeah. I think they said yes to you, um, Evie, because they did move the, the EMF to red. And you see my phone doesn't really affect the EMF and it's right next to it. Yeah, it probably is Boomer, Carl. Yep. Um. I'm surprised he's not on here. Um, well, he was up all night, so he's probably asleep. <laughs> no, nah, he ain't asleep. If he is, he's just taking a nap. Because he that's all he does, he naps. He'll sleep two hours, wake up. Be up six or seven hours, go back to sleep, sleep two more. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's how he is. So let's just... Close this one second because we're going to go back to Paratech, which is still talking. I don't know how that's possible because it was down. So, and see what they said here. So, they, they said, notebook, romantic female, 
learn, own, 20, code, culture, sort, hate, capable, source, risk, distribution, and jog. Um, uh, distribution, job, and job. Job. Like, like, like your oh, job, God. not job, jogging, like you're jogging through. Oh, God, I thought you said job. He been up on an hour, I feel, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Um, so, yeah. Well, Carl, he hit on on the subject that we've been discussing, Carl. Remember he hit the same town in Kentucky. Two of them, actually. So Mary has her spirit um, app on. Ooh. Cassie let you get an hour nap. Good for you. Um, while she has her app on, what I'll do is we can do some spirit rods or pendulums so I can show you, you how that works. Is that what you're saying? That works too. They said food. Well, what about witchcraft? Watch out witchcraft. Uh -oh. it's a good well, th thank you for warning us, spirits. Yeah, thank you. Could be somebody trying to put something on us. Yeah, that could be a true story. Too. Put my crystal ball. Here you go. A snack for you guys. <laughs> and some chips for you. I made muffins. Yes, Carl. I'll send you a message after I'm done with this app and tell you what what he pinged on, same as you. I'm gonna try to see. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll do it this way. It's backwards here, so it's hard for me to see which way. So, all right. So, let's ask a question. Let's ask some questions. Look, I'm here. Boomer even gave me full out. Look, I'm here. Um, okay. I don't see anywhere. Look around here. We're gonna bother Billy today. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Billy, can you show them your yes? Where are you standing at? If you say, "Look, I'm here." Okay. Can you show them your no? Back and can forth just, in circles for yes, guys. Okay. All right. They will harm you. Uh oh. So let's see. So that was said after the witchcraft. So is there somebody oh, doing witchcraft? Are obviously they're doing witchcraft against someone here. Yes. Hmm. Well, he gave me a full name, Carl. That actually. I know for a fact is in the family. Okay, so. Yeah, shocked the crap out of me. Mary, can you ask them the name of the person doing witchcraft? Who's the name of the person that's doing the witchcraft? Can you tell me the name? Is it against me and Christina? Or just me? Or just me, you gotta, you know. Or just her, but either way. Yeah, Carl, I, I told her about that too. I haven't got any, any she's going to talk to the family and get back with me. Sorry, Christina, we're talking about that. Yeah. Scary. 
What did it say, Mary? Scary. <clears throat> Spirits, can you t can you tell us the name of the person who's doing the witchcraft? Is it someone we know? That we could ask because that's a yes or no question. Is it someone yeah. we know? They may not tell us because we're on live. It's so, well, they wouldn't have started then. <laughs> so true. yes, it's true. somebody we know. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about it that way. Yeah. So it is someone we know. Now, here's a, here's a question, spirits. And this is not so. If you don't want to give up the name, um, is yeah. is the person who's doing the witchcraft? On purposely try purposely trying to hurt somebody. Let's ask that because sometimes they do it wrong and they weren't meaning to do something. Right. Shot. Uh, who got shot? Candles. Candles. Are they using the candles for the for the witchcraft? Long hair. Blonde hair. Who Candle had blonde hair? hair that we know? Hmm. Well, Abby, if you know, some people some people mess with stuff and don't realize that. You know, yeah. I told them that, Christina's told them that. The people that we know that that is into witchcraft, they've told them that, you know, told people that. So, I mean, you know, if some people dwell in this stuff and they don't realize what they're doing. Yeah, they really, they just think, you know, they're going to win the lotto and they're going to do all this stuff to try it. And they end up, you know, okay. The one thing I say with messing with witchcraft at all. Or if you want to become a witch, do your research. There is an extensive amount of research before you start doing anything that you need to learn. Because it will come back to bite you if you if you do it wrong. Yeah. And it and it will if you do any negative towards anybody, it's coming back at you. You can oh. bet on that. Who are you? Uh, I'm Mary. Who are you? <laughs> All right. So let's do. So, okay. So this person, are they doing it intentionally? So, yeah. So they're not doing it uh, by mistake. <laughs> Mary, sorry. What? They're, the person is not doing it by mistake. They're doing it intentionally to hurt somebody. It's someone that we know with blonde hair. Does Oh, here we go. Was the blonde hair about the witchcraft lady? <laughs> yes. Okay. I've been here 600 years. Oh, well, God bless you, sweetheart. 600 years, that's a long time. Leave you alone. I'm not bothering you. You're the one that's talking in my box. <laughs> oh, here's a question, Mary. Ask if the person doing the witchcraft is alive. Because technically, I think even deceased if people... If the person could, doing the witchcraft, are they alive? Technically, I think you can do it when you're dead, deceased too. Um, um, of course. Whatever you could do in life, you could do in death. That's just, you know.
If you can tell us that on Mary's Did box. Say they want to cause us harm. Is that what you said? No, whoopsie daisy witchcraft. That's right. Christina. What? Did you say that a while ago. Are they trying to cause harm? Did, did it say that on yours? Um, I asked my pendulum. And they said, yes, they're trying to cause harm. Yes, they're doing it on purpose. And um, they know what they're doing. The blonde hair was had to do with the witchcraft, but I don't off the top of my head know anybody with blonde hair. Only blonde that's doing witchcraft towards me. Or that would do it towards me. So why I said ask if the person's alive. Who's the person with the blonde hair that's doing the witchcraft? Can you give us a name? Oracle. Oh, boy. You know who that is, right? I'm not going to say it on live stream, but I don't think so so that that person would do it but who knows uh don't know don't say their name on the live stream but um here's a question here's a question for your spirits are is this person doing it against someone in the chat Is there, are they doing it to somebody in the chat? Who's the person they're doing it to? Can you give us their name? Yes. I lost my life here. Oh, well, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry about that, sweetheart. Right, Carl. Cancer. Ah, uh, cancer. I'm sorry. Toy. Toy. A toy. That's interesting, like, a toy, you got Lydia, Lydia is, is the little girl that used to live here, Oh, did house, but she's alive, she's fine, oh. I'm sorry you had cancer. And that you lost your life here. Yeah, Christine, none of us do. I really don't like cancer. Yeah, tell me about it. My mother passed from cancer. Mary's. What did my mother? Yeah. Yeah, I mean Christine's life has like been almost almost identical in, in a lot of ways. Yep. It's mirrored each other's. I'll put you like that. The only difference between Mary and I is Mary likes to be married and I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm not married. You know you were married twice. That's, yeah, that's but what I'm saying. <laughs> I got, I got rid of that piece of paper. <laughs> Mary got married <laughs> twice, and I refused. <laughs>
No, I ain't saying nothing. No, I think it's because I realized who they were talking oh, about. They said, I'm touching your back. <laughs> uh, said, I'm laying on mine. I don't know how I'd be touching it. Now, you might be touching my shoulder that I just reached up to. Felt like something was on it. Oh, there you go. Back. Came back. Hmm. Touch of Mary's shoulders, huh? It says haunted was before that. And it says I'm touching your back. I must be haunted. Wow. Uh, we knew that for a long time now. What do you mean I came back? You came back. Who came back? Tell might be talking to somebody else. Story. What did it say? Tell people my, my story. Name my name is Margaret. Okay, I'll tell them your story, Margaret. If you tell Ooh, me. Ask, ask if that, that Margaret is for um, Carl. Carl asked about a Margaret before. Margaret, are do you are you trying to tell Carl or just anybody in general? Tell your story, and we're listening. I'll set the phone down. And you say what you want to say. Well, you can answer on Christina's or mine, either one. Mary, they might be holding you. Uh, it'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can trust us. You can trust us. <laughs> I know that ain't nothing bad here because... Uh, my spirit guy ain't gonna let nobody bat it in. And they wouldn't let you touch me if I if they didn't trust you. I can tell you that. Margaret, I'm ready to tell your story. Come on, you, you can say what you want to say. Get you some snack there and and uh, get you some energy. I set some chips out for y'all. Ah. No, we want none of this. Trying to see if go see her, or you got the voice thing up. I have the ghost seer on. <laughs> yep. No, no, I ain't saying too much. Yeah. Margaret only passed nine days ago, Mary. Yeah, I don't think that would be coming through, Margaret. I mean, she it'd be very hard for her to come through. Yeah, but she could have somebody somebody talking for her, a liaison, so to speak. Well, that could be true, yes. I'm only eight. She said she's only eight. I'm only eight. Oh, is that one of my Margaret's? Because, okay, you know. <laughs> Are you from Christina's? Let me see if Margaret that I have here is eight. I don't know. Moan. Moan. <laughs> Are you talking about me? Yeah, I did there just for a second. I kind of grunted a little bit because I'm having back spasms and 
with Jake from Spirit, you guys, just so you know. Okay. Thanks, Shelly. Appreciate it. What time is it? 7.38. I thought I had a Margaret here who was little, but maybe she crossed over already. If I don't write their names down in the book that I know they're staying a while, then, you know, <laughs> um, then they usually cross over. I just know them and for a little bit and they cross over. But uh, I know the answer to hospital. Margaret, I know. I know I had an uncle call. You had an uncle called Moan? Hey, Ace. And Margaret, it Carl, was she only eight years old? The forest. Hospital, the forest. So are you saying you died in the hospital? <clears throat> yeah, after she was attacked in the forest, ask her. I just was fixing to say that. <laughs> you attacked in the forest? Is that where they found you? How do we work it? Oh, they're trying How to do we work it. The well, box. you have to just go in there and you search you for words that you noise. need to move towards the noise you have to uh i don't hear any noise are you tapping uh, i think i think there was another spirit telling her maybe there's workings inside the box obviously we don't know about <laughs> inside the app just go and search for words in their in their in this app in a, in a, have somebody show you how to work it. You'll, you'll get it. Oh, that'd be nice, Shelly. I'm still looking for a spirit who can massage my back. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could find one to do that. I've, I've asked, is there any masseuses? You know? I don't mind crossing you over, but I could use a massage first, but no, it never worked. She started to get dementia. Did she, Carl, was she, was she eight years old? It's very lonely here. Ah. Uh, I mean. People get dementia in all ages, so that's why I'm asking that. I mean, there's stuff that brings it on. I'm sorry that it's lonely for you. I'm sure. Do you have family this there? This is my home. This is my home. Uh, okay. Well, I live in it too, so we have to share it. Be nice. I mean, I'll, I'll be your company, but... You have to be nice for right here. I need to warn you. What are you warning me about? <laughs> Great. Now I'm getting warning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mary, they're warning you. I'm getting a warning, y'all. Oh. I think I got more than one spirit talking, by the way. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So, oh, we're getting a picture. She was 86. Jenny. She stopped the last four days. This picture is of someone in a yellow hat, like a, maybe a, work, a working suit in a mine, 
Like someone in a mine, I think, wearing yeah. like safety clothes. Oh, check this out. Says, I'm oh, happy. Dean, enjoy. It says, I'm happy for you to stay. I said she could share that I'd share this with her, that that I live here too. And she said, I'm happy for you to stay. Ah. And then Jenny, and I got the name Jenny. Is that your name, Jenny? Is that the one that's talking to me? Or are you Margaret? I think there's two of them talking to me. Right. Margaret was the one who passed in the forest. Jen, Jenny is the one who used to live there, I think. Well, now Carl says she was 86, juiced up for the last, uh, last four days, Mary. Well, there's uh, a lot of people named Margaret, so I can assume that... <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, and I got a bobbed wire fence going on here. You can tell us your story. <sighs> Abby leaving too? No, I think oh, she's no, no. Seen. Sorry, I had to make a cigarette, guys. No, she's not. I'm sorry. I read it wrong. I thought it said Evie, and it says enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Evie. Um, so. Jenny, you can tell us your story, too. Smith. Smith. So Margaret's eight. Jen, okay. So Margaret's eight. Jenny, how old are you? Uh, check out this last name, Jenny Smith. Somebody research that and see if she pops up somewhere around me. I'll do it. Indiana. I'll do it. Indiana. I know where you are in Indiana, so I'll do it. All right. I can't do it because I'm on my phone with the app, so I'm sorry about that. <coughs> well, what's my warning? What's the warning you was giving me? Is it because you was warning me that you're here? Or is there a different warning? Different. Different? Okay. Can you can you tell me what it is? What's the warning? And Jenny, can you tell me? Were you thirty one? Were you the one that passed in 2018? Oh, crap. Or did, hang on, hang on. Just kicked out of it. Go ahead. I almost thought they were calling me. <laughs> yeah, Jenny. There's a few, there's a few Jenny Smiths and Jennifer Smiths. So, um, can you tell us the year you passed away, Jenny? Jenny, can you tell us the year you passed away? If you didn't hear Christina. For some reason. She thinks she may have found you. Your obituary. Can you tell us when you, the year you died? The attic. The attic? I don't have an attic. That I'm, well, there is one here, but I don't use it. <laughs> Well, she could have, she could have died in the attic since she said, oh my God, you see this picture we got? Oh, well, uh, that looks like a little kid, little girl. Oh yeah, it's definitely, maybe it's Margaret who's eight, right? Margaret, is that you on, on that picture there that Christina just showed me? Did you send her a picture of you?
Yeah. Okay, I wrote it today. No, that's not my thing. Yes. Oh, I have a feeling actually that Jenny's very young too. Answer. Seven hundred. Um, so maybe we're going the wrong way here. Oh, Jenny. I'm sorry, Carol. Do what now, Christine? Sorry. I think Jenny's the young one, and maybe when she said I'm eight, I think Jenny and Margaret are over talking each other. Look at the forest. Jenny, are you the one that's eight? And Margaret's the one that Carl was talking about? Maybe. Jenny, are you the one that was found? Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Uh, I'm not going to mess with you, but don't mess with me either. Mm -hmm. All right. So negative here. Go away. Oh, yeah. She was talking to a spirit. She wasn't talking to you. Um, beautiful well, picture. Yeah. Negative that just popped in. So that's uh, interesting because, see, Mary's is talking. So Mary said that, you know, it said forest. And then we got a picture of the forest. And then it said, you are really using that EMF, huh? So then it said, um, you know, she was eight. And then we have a picture of a girl. But I think Jenny is the one that's eight. Um, and she's the she's the one i'm assuming who passed away um she was the one in the forest who was attacked yes okay so we have to look for a little one um because these alices are old or from the I mean, chase. Jenny's Jenny's are older. Oh God, Jenny. Jenny, are you blue the one? Eyes. Blue eyes. You have blue eyes. Oh. Jenny, is that you that has blue eyes? You tell us what you look like. Is that you in that picture? That you that Christina got. Ask if any of them are from the chase. Does that say chase or chose? Chase, isn't it? Chase. Oh, Carl, sorry to hear that. Our pets are a family, too. Mm -hmm. Would it be easier for you to talk if I put a different app on? Talking. Talking. Okay, you're just talking, you're not... You didn't do a picture or what? I like this spirit talker. Mm -hmm. It's an app, yes, but I still like it. I know that a lot of people don't care for the apps, but there's a couple of them that I, I really like, and this is one of them. I also like the one that Christina's got up with the, the ghost seer. Yeah, it's asking, are you still here? I can't find any little one, so she must have passed away a long time ago. Jenny, can you tell us, sweetheart, the year you passed away? And are you the one that's eight years old, or are you grown? The little girl likes you. Oh. She must be having trouble talking and somebody's talking for her. 
Mm. Thank you. I'm glad she, I like her too. I don't know who's answering for her, but can you tell me her age? Hi, Dave. Darius. Darius, hello. Maybe she's a missing child. That could be Jen. That's why I can't find her. Oh, enjoy your work, Colleen. Much love to you. I'm glad that you're feeling better and you're back. Well, she died in the hospital, though. She said she was in the hospital. But then again, there was two talking, so... Yes, oh, from Kanak Chase yeah. Forest. Interesting. Because Carl, because maybe Margaret died in the hospital, but the little one died in the forest, maybe. Our settlement. Our settlement. It was you. Are you from the forest, the Kanak Chase Forest? Are you the little girl that's at Carl's? Oh, well, my EMF went crazy when you said that, so I think that could be exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah, that might be the little girl from Carl's. Not calling. Well, sweetie, if you want, I got muffins. <laughs> Diane wants to know, did you fall in the water, Jenny? Mm, my EMF is going crazy. It went to red. Your phone may be setting it off. It's a little close. No, because it's been changing. Like, stop yeah, for a second, guys. They can stop it. it All see? right. Okay. So, All right. Just make it sure. I, trust me, I already tested it. <laughs> Hey, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. I ain't even seen you live. If I had, I would have, I would have stopped in. I mean, I'll move it, but... <laughs> You're, I, it's, it's okay. I'm just making sure it wasn't too close. Sit back up so we can see it. That's all right. If they protect, are you here protecting me? Uh, are you protecting Jenny? That's good. If you are, I think all children that pass over need somebody to help them and protect them. Is Jenny from the from that forest that Carl's talking about? Canuck, I think's the name of it. I'm right next to you. Are you right next to me? Oh, that's, that's nice. That's good, Dave. I don't, you know, hey, I don't blame you. It can be addictive. YouTube can be. I, I agree with that. But I like with me, I got nothing else to do. So if I could get out and go and do things, I wouldn't be on here either. If you're right next to me, here, I'll set the phone over this way. You can can you talk better that way? There you go. And so Jenny, did you did you drown, Jenny? Did you hear? Her? Did you drown? I 
I mean, my EMF goes to red every time we say that, so. Um, Be careful in here. Be careful in here? Hmm. Why? They've been trying to warn you all day or something. Yeah, I know. I, I've noticed that. Jacoby, you need to be on the lookout. Make sure nothing's coming in. He said, I am. <laughs> Alicia is too. Okay. And I just heard we all are in unison. <laughs> I just heard them all say it. We all are. <laughs> It must have been something trying to get in and they're keeping it out. Yeah. Them. Them. Yeah, you're keeping them out. So there's more than one apparently trying to get in. Maybe they they were after maybe they were after the little one. Many died here. Many died here. Um, probably on the grounds here. Are you talking about all the property? Um, yeah. I know for a fact there's been several dialed as well. Oh, Tina, there's a little girl decided to talk on um, Mary Spirit um, talker there when we were testing out the apps. So I just have my EMF on and we're listening to Jenny. Happy place. Your happy place. Oh, I that you're happy here with me. Her happy place is in the attic, I think. Um, she hangs out there. I... Whenever. Amazing. Whenever. What's whenever you hang out? You hang out whenever and whenever uh, I. Talking or doing, doing this? Is that what you're saying? You come down to be here with me? Or do you come to see me often? I have a oh, feeling that I have a feeling that she comes down often. Yeah, the settlement is um was it a settlement of people Jen wanted to know? Like um Jen from it, 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 that's what I got because uh it said she, there. It said there have been many died here. So yeah. with that, I do know there was a settlement here. Plan. Um, plans. I don't know what the plans something is, but waits. something waits. Yeah, uh, they can keep on waiting. They're not coming in. Someone's watching. They can watch from a distance. <laughs> um, are, are, Jenny, are you still talking about the witch? Uh, because that's maybe. What, that's what maybe, I'm getting. Maybe what they're warning you of is still about this witchcraft that they've been trying to tell you about. So, uh, a blonde oracle, um, what I want to know is, spirits, we want to make sure we have the right one, is, Jen, can you tell us if this oracle is still living? Is the witch oracle still living? That's watching me? You know, with being watching, could be watching my channel. Mm. Lurking. I got lurkers. <laughs> strangled. Strangled. Mm. She was strangled. No, so, I think I think she's, she's still. Yeah, she's still alive. I'm thinking this witch. Yeah. 
I'm thinking the one that strangled is, is the one that died in the forest. No, I think she oh, drowned. Right. There's another one. There's another one talking. Well, there's there's Margaret, there's Jenny, and so Margaret was religious. Yeah. So Liz the so there's Margaret, Jenny, and who's the third one that was strangled? She was she strangled um, in the same forest as as Jenny. Uh, Brown? It was religious, so it could be a religious settlement or some kind of religious thing. I don't know, but I don't know about that being here. But I do know that I'm on Indian ground. Most definitely. And well, I didn't know there was uh, a natives natives are very religious, so you know that, that could right. be that's that's what I'm getting at. And it and it I do know that uh there was a battle here of some kind with them. Um I do know that. And we have well, native listen. there's a native burial grounds that ain't probably not even two miles away from me. Oh well Tina, um, listen look at what Tina said. I got this afternoon on the app the same thing. It said the witch is here. She's watching you. So they've been warning us of a witch doing bad witchcraft that's dangerous. She's alive, an oracle, supposedly with blonde hair, and uh, is after us. But I don't know who exactly she's after or what she's after or anything of the sort. We haven't found out yet, Tina. Elizabeth is the new one that's come through. Elizabeth. Okay. Are you Elizabeth from, from Christina's? Um, Elizabeth was strangled. And she is oh. from the same. Um, she was strangled in the same far as Jenny drowned in. How do you, you know that? Well, I heard it in, in my oh. head, just saying. <laughs> oh, okay. Somebody okay. told me in my ear well, or in my head. I'm like, is somebody writing it down? Are you hearing it or what? That's why I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, well, that's I what I heard. And then, oh. as I said it, my EMF went crazy. So I'm like, okay, I must be on the right track there. Um, you are. Because they just said, I just asked us, is all that correct? They said, yes. Oh, that's good. Another nasty stuff oh, done to them back in the getting, you know. And, and Carl said the, the, the girl, there was one in Chase uh, that was strangled. So, so there you go. So you have both of them came Are from the far. Did you die in the 1960s? Elizabeth Tall. All right, was you tall? Don't tell. Don't tell. Oh. The no, I, I, I think Tall was her last name. I think her last, I think her name was Elizabeth. Yeah, they said that to me too, Tina. Uh, Tall Elizabeth, the last name was Tall. I think Are you I, from here in this area? Are you from Carl's area? Angel I, hierarchy. Angel hierarchy. Oh. I think they both are from Carl's. Okay. Is the and, angel Yeah. Is the angel hierarchy are you here? <laughs> for a reason? Are you happen to be here? Um, checked. I say it's an angel hierarchy. I don't think they're there. That might be. No, well, they're not here, but they're. I. I okay. I I want to say. <laughs> I, I want to say that. <laughs> are Are you t saying that this? What was going on was done by what happened to you girls was done by a bad angel. <laughs> because I know they exist. I got no, but. Okay, just want to make sure. Did you get no too? I, I don't know. 
I didn't I didn't pick up the pendulum. I just asked that. Ash. Ash knows. It said Ash. Oh. Ash knows. Okay. It didn't say well, no, but it just said Ash. Well, then 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 Tina would know. Right, Tina. It's the angel hierarchy working with me. Okay. All right. So you're Ash and you're the angel All right, hierarchy. Okay. I got it. Hi, Ash. No, she wants you to ask, is the angel oh, okay. hierarchy working with her? <laughs> it's the angel hierarchy that's working with Tina. <laughs> she said, yeah, the angel's working with me, she said. Well, yeah, she always works with angels, though. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> well, she has an ass, right? But he's a, he's a, um. He's a wolf. Right. But okay. So maybe he's telling me. Yeah. You know, that the, that the angel was around. He's the one that's talking, in other words. Yeah. Who can help me? Well, you got to tell me who you are and what do you need. If you need crossed over, you can go to Christina's. Yep, we'll do that tonight. There'll be a crossover tonight. Is that what you need? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is it Ash saying nice to meet you, or is it the person that needs the help? Can you feel us? Oh, there you go, Tina. I can't feel you. I got goosebumps from my head to toe. Yes, I do feel you. Oh, wow. I know that you're here. Ah, oh, look at what I got, the picture. Oh, well. Yes, thank you, Evie. We're never going to lack any work with Evie and Kathy around. Well, I haven't been doing any crossovers, Evie, because of the not being strong enough or feeling well enough to do it. I've been sending them to the Grove or I send them to Christina's. Christina. Jacoby takes anybody who comes here. He'll take them to Christina's or the Grove. Yeah. He knows I'm not strong enough to do it. Um, the, um, he'll definitely bring me the little ones because he knows. It, it and then, is, you can feel it. I do know that he that he's he's either still here or he's been here because I yeah. I can feel I can feel them all around me. Um Jen, Elizabeth, um Elizabeth, how old are you, sweetheart? I and think she's in her twenties. But I'm not sure. You have that just come through too. Jenny, who's eight. Uh, Elizabeth Tall, who was strangled. I think she's in her twenties. And who's the next one who came through? Victoria. And then it said darkness. Are you in the darkness? You need to go to the light. You want to be? If you do, you want to cross over? I think I think they're all coming from that far as like you can go to Christina's or uh you Jacoby will take you and help you if yeah. if you need to go to Christina's or you can go to, to the Grove, whichever you prefer, or whichever Jacoby feels like you need to go to if that's what you want to do. Oh, that that's 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 cool, Evie. 
I'm sure some of my little ones will do the same thing. We'll all go together. Well, I told them we're going traveling first, and then we're going to cross. <laughs> then we're all going to go to the Grove. Danny's Grove is going to be hopping. Let me tell you. <laughs> Annie. Annie? I'm getting all these names. Annie? How old are you, Annie? And, uh, Victoria, how old are you? One at a time, tell me who, Annie, you tell me your age first. Uh, they were all younger, under 25. I think um, Victoria's around 18 or 19. Is that your age, Victoria? And I, but I think Annie is like 12, 12 or 13. Ha, huh. Tina, Tina and I said at the same time, 12. Yes. I, I got, uh, I got 13. Are fixing oh, okay. to be 14, she said. 12 or 13, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I think she's 12, but she was fixing to be 13. That's yeah. what I'm getting. And, help. um... Annie, you can, you can just wait here with Jacoby. Jacoby will help. Jacoby, you getting a bunch of them coming to you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she did. Uh, you're going to get a few. <laughs> Oh yeah, if they all came from that forest, I don't know what the heck was going on there, but they're yeah, you know, they're they're welcome. Um and then and the angel that's here. Uh Tina said said to ask you to wrap your wings around me so I can feel you. Can you do that? And just uh give me a hug. Oh, Jen, that's interesting. Wow, that's probably all where they're from. I'm telling you, because they're all under the age of 25, all of them from that forest. Hmm. Equality, yeah, it's equal. We're equal. We're equal, liberal people. You know, we'll we'll work with all of you. <laughs> electric, yeah, use electric, yeah, too, yeah. I know what you're saying. Tina, they want to cross though. I'm doing one tonight, but if you're going to do a crossing, yeah, Tina will take them too. They're all females too. Yep, they are. Hmm. I'm doing one tomorrow. Great, Tina. Yeah, because they're all asking for help, so they're they're wanting to cross. Yeah, so there you, go. you could spread the you could spread the love, Jacoby. Jacoby, I'm gonna hit a million either today or tomorrow. By the way, I guys, she was. I thought she was on a on a break. I didn't know she was doing crossovers again. Hi, Jacoby. Hi, how are you? Welcome in. Um. This ain't your first time here, but I'm glad you're here. <laughs> That's why he's put laughing out loud. Oh, yeah. I, I was like, I thought I saw him the other day, but I don't know. Gather energy, okay. There's a snack there if you want a snack. Um, Check it out for y'all. Yeah, she doesn't do them as often as I do. But anyway, I think you should throw me a party, guys. For we should have a little party for one million, one million people crossed over. 
I seem familiar. Uh, well, if you're from overseas, I don't think you would know me, but if you're from here, then possibly. Well, you don't know where you were in your past life, Mary. I got the script. You could have been, been, been overseas, most definitely. Williams, the last name Williams. So, who has the last name of Williams? Is that you, Annie? I haven't gotten a name since her. I think it was Victoria. Victoria Williams. I was just fixing to say, is it Victoria? And then, girls, can you answer yeah, on the yeah, app? Yeah. app? Hold on. I think I know who that is. Victoria Williams. And it said that you you seem familiar. Do you know me from from a, a small town, Victoria? Uh, what I was said, it said Ronald. <laughs> oh, girls, um, can we ask you? Are you all from the same church cult? Do you all know each other? I think they know each other, or they all they all came from that area so they know each other they, now they do know each other oh yeah we got the picture of the woods too in the app before they were all killed in the woods they said all of us but one that's come through is yeah is connected yeah see the woods look yeah I, I was talking to the chat really but <laughs> you can answer too the children sing the children sing oh so did you sing in a choir there at the church? Yeah, I don't know if it was that kind of church, but. Oh, it was the Mormons. Oh, yeah. OK, so they, yeah. they would have sang in the church. Yeah crazy cults back then they did crazy stuff to the people what carl is it victoria is that the name of your wife we lived close we lived close oh they they all lived close to each other did you live close to each other and that's why you all went to the same church because it's easy to walk to Well, we also got um, today. Look at all the bodies on the on the on the water, like on the ocean, on the beach or something. A compound. Hi, Andre. The girls were all killed. Yeah, I know which one Jen's talking about. I read, up and I read about that. It oh, was terrible. God. Oh, that is terrible. Who is the Ronald that come that that come through? Angry. I, I would be angry too through it all, but you need to let it go. Let it go. It's it's time to let it go and, and pass pass through. Go go to the light. Cross over. It's time to cross over. Jen, question was uh, the because they must have info on that. Was Ronald was the was ronald a leader of that cult i think they're telling you their stories so he was a teacher preacher yeah <laughs> thank you jen what 
was Ronald your teacher or your preacher? But okay, that compound wasn't overseas though. Carl's Carl's is is overseas. Over by him. Somewhere by him. And then she's talking about one that's Mormon that is done was done here. Well, I'm assuming they did them all over. I don't think that it was limited to the United States. <laughs> Actually. Well, there were cults all over the 60s. It, there could be one near Carl. What I'm saying is the, the females that came through was from Carl's. Except yeah, they, what he said. And then now there's, uh, hang on, protected. So, Ronald, you, protect, you protected them or tried to protect them? So, okay, so ask the girls are they from near carl's are, are you girls from carl or by carl yeah i got a yes whisper. yeah okay so was but was all of this were you guys in a cult there near carl I don't know, my EMF meter was going crazy, so. It said church. Oh, okay. I got church. It, well, it didn't yeah. say church. I'm hearing it in my head. Church. Right. And so. Then a yes behind it. So basically, uh, he, the murders was called Raymond Leslie Morris. The sickle see, who did the, the murders. I got the name Raymond, too. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, they're all from Carl's, but it goes with what Jen was saying because they did all that. They must have did that everywhere. So they were in a church, kind of religious thing. They did all that happened, and you see, his name was Raymond. So, okay. Tina, wait, I've got all the phones in here. <laughs> I can't right now, Tina. I'm on. Hang on a minute. I can. Oh, I she was one. asking me. I'm, I'm going to show you. Wait. I'm protecting you. See? 13. I just, it says we can whisper. And it says 13. Was there 13 girls? Oh, yeah, I see that. Was there 13 yeah, girls compound, in this compound? Or in this, or were Carl in the church? Or that were killed. Pound or whatever. Are 13 girls killed? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Good night, Scott. Much love to you. Night, Scott. They did some horrible things to those girls, tried to run away and got punished. Yep. Yeah, yep, yep. <clears throat> Thank you for protecting me. They thought he had killed 13 to 15 girls, only found five. Oh. Hmm? Was there 13 girls killed there? Victor. Victor. Another male's name. <coughs> Did Victor do the killing? Or was he involved in it? Do you believe? Yes, I do believe. We, we believe. Hunter. Hunter? 
So what do you do? Hunt you down? Oh, Hunter, somebody's name. So you got Hunter, Raymond, and Victor. Were they all involved in this cult killing stuff, girls? We can whisper. Are you trying to tell me you want to whisper to me? Victor was one of the killers. Yeah, I figured that. Um, I think so was Hunter. Well, they don't want them to hear. Maybe that's the ones that are outside watching. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? They could consider cult members witches. Maybe one of them was like a, <coughs> a warlock. Uh, Evie sends you girls love. They said thank you. Yes, Hunter and Victor was involved. Mm-hmm. And they were the ones that was tracking them, hunting them down. They they ran. How many of you did 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 did, did they kill? Thirteen. How many did they find? I got I got that they found six. But they might not know. Uh, it's an investigate. What do you want, or who do you want to investigate? Or are you saying they're still investigating? Well, it's from the 60s. I don't think they're investigating it anymore. They want us to investigate. It's uh, they're saying. Um, but I, what I think is that um, the six that they found, I don't think they thought was involved because they found her way later. That might have been Jenny because they thought she drowned only. Was that the case, girls? Uh. -oh. I'm going to say I was going to ask it, but you asked it, so what answer did you get? Um, well, I heard yes. That's what I heard. That's why I asked. I was figuring they would tell you on the box. <laughs> okay, Hunter, is that your last name, or is your name Rachel? Can you say it on the spirit talker? I heard yes too, but yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. I think that they thought Jenny just drowned; that she wasn't part of that, and because I think she was the youngest of the bunch, so I think they didn't link her to that, which is why they would have said they only found five bodies linked to that. And um, but I'm all getting, there was a male last name. Our first name of Hunter that yes. was involved with hunting them down. Yes. Oh, yeah. And it could have been the girl's last name, one of the girl's last name, too. But that was definitely a male's name that was involved. Oh, somebody's warning me. Don't go further, it says. <laughs> I think because we're on, we're on to something. Mm. Um, but if they found, I mean, obviously, Carl knows about this, so they obviously punished the gentleman. Well, here's a here's the question, girls. Then they obviously got Raymond, but did the other two get away? Says Francis. Hey, Andre. The name Francis. Mm -hmm. Bye, um, Francis could be a girl's name too, but did they 
girls, did they did they not prosecute Hunter and Victor? I gotta know right off the bat. No, or you even got it out of your mouth. So they they got Raymond, but they didn't get the other ones, which is probably why they're still pissy. I I I was just told that they don't know about them. Yeah. Well, and that's why they're mad. Yeah. Aww. I like using this. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm glad you like using it. Oh, that is chilling. Look at the, the picture they gave her. So there was 13 killed, and so you're wanting us to find the, other, the rest of them? Yeah, I mean... Are they buried in this? Are they buried out there in the woods? Well, from that picture, maybe. And yes, yeah. And um, did they warn us not to go any further? Because obviously, the '60s, Victor and Hunter are obviously still alive. Let me ask. Victor and Hunter are still alive. Yes. Uh-huh. Are you worried about us if we keep going further? Are you worried we're going to get that they're going to come after us? Oh, yes, Jen. I'm sure. Poor babies. I'm having fun. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm glad you're having fun with it. Um, do you... They're so happy to... Hunter and Victor, do they have a place in the woods where they stay? A cabin? Okay. Farm-like cabinet says. Oh, Jen, you never know. That could be like a storage shed. They said it's like a storage shed, but it's barn-shaped, but it's a cabin. They use it as a cabin. Uh, so I would Jen say said one of those storage shed type ones, and they use it as a as a cabin. Now, Jen, Jen asked girls. Spirit talker, uh, Tina is is. Is this still going on now? Are Victor like and Hunter still killing girls? You like the dark? Okay. Would you just ask if it's still going on? Yeah. Are, are Hunter and... Oh, my EMF is going crazy. Hunter and Victor still killing innocent girls? I heard when they get the chance. Mm-hmm. Nice to talk again. Did you, did you, oh, I'm glad, I'm glad you are happy that you can talk again. And we're glad that you can. We're glad that technology has made it where you can talk to us. Yeah. Yeah, Tina, it's, it's one that I really like. I, I Even though say, they've been doing, they've been doing pretty good because they're talking my ear off. My ear is going nuts. The EMS is going what, nuts. And what I'm getting on here is coincide with what we're hearing personally because yeah. they're talking to me and they're talking to her to our, in our heads, you know, I mean, and then they're verifying what the box is saying. So, yeah. yeah. We're glad that you're able to talk to us. We we enjoy talking to you. So have they has Victor and Hunter caught anybody yes, recently? Okay. 
Or do they have anybody now that they haven't killed yet? Oh, they do. They, they said yes. Wow. But we're all the way over here. Horse? Do they use? Do they use horses to go in and out of the woods? Their transportation is horses. Is that why the barn? That's what. Is that why you showed me a barn? So they do have a barn, but they have a uh, have a cabin too. Carl, is there a cabin and a barn there? And in woods, do you know? Or right next to the, right off the woods? It would be right, right near there. They suggest that there is a barn and cabin. They either, they either live right outside of them woods and they're mm -hmm. bumped up against the woods or they're in the woods, one or the other. Yeah. Uh, they just said in the woods. Yeah. <clears throat> what are those woods called again? Uh, the. Can you move location? Do you want me? He'll get you. He'll get me. Uh, he's not going to get me. He have to. He's come a long way to get me. Uh, <laughs> yes, he would. Uh, yes, I can move the location. Are you talking about this? No. Okay, I'll set it right there. Oh, yeah. Now, can you tell me the location of those? I mean, tell me the name of the woods again, Mary. The Canuck, 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 Canuck. I, that, I mean, I don't know if that's what Carl said. I don't know. We can ask him. Yeah, no. Well, that's what Carl said. I want to know the woods that Carl said. Because obviously most of this goes exactly with what he was saying, but I can't Canuck, remember. Canuck uh, Chase. Canuck Chase. Oh, yeah, the Chase. Okay. I'm a man. <laughs> okay. Okay, y'all. I got to mute for just a second. I ain't got no choice, so you're going to have to bear with me. It's potty okay. time. Chase Forest. Shapeshifted or wow, that's crazy, Carl. Oh, look, you could see you, you see the murder, the, the girls. And the murderer there. The start date, August 13th, 1929. Oh. What a son of a gun. Um, wow, you got like what they would look to be like horses and like men that would be in the barn on horses. Oh, that could be possible, two of them. You're right. I used to be a Mormon growing up. My mother changed us to Baptist. She didn't agree with lots of their beliefs. Yeah. 
They are sitting in a pool of blood. Yes. I'm trying to look for guys if they're if if they know of any okay diane um structures in the forest like if there's any structures in this um ugly oh well there's a military training grounds in in that forest there um carl yes. nasty oh my god and it looks just like the picture i showed you guys that they showed us yeah it does hang on you guys i'm getting my air back no yeah look hmm yeah they were alone it's terrible <laughs> enchanted forest walk i don't know why they're trying to okay so there is some like rustic shelters and stuff around in there you see okay i got while i was off you were protected Yes, I am protected. Very much so. I got, I'm a man. I feel very lonely. Hi, Pam. Feathers. Ugly, nasty. You are protected. Mm -hmm. Oh, from the bad angels? Thanks, because we need it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm protected, period, they're saying, I guess. Basically, yeah. it's protected. There's and a I, lot of old buildings, bunkers, etc. in undergrowth. Yeah, you're telling me. There, so there are at, structures. Uh, look at the, in, say, put in Pacific, put in, put in for cabin and, and horse and barn. Cabin uh, and barn is that in the woods. It, it just gives you structures, like different structures, but it doesn't give you specifically what they are. Um, Blonde hair. There's blonde hair again. Here we go There's with the blonde, blonde hair. Again. Yeah. So, and that's right after you are protected. So, in other words, whoever the blonde hair is trying to get at me, they're not letting them in, and I am protected very much. So, whoever she is, she's she's trying, but she ain't got no success. She's not going to have any with me. I banish you from me. You cannot. Be here. The negative cannot be here. You cannot. Enter. Look. That picture is exactly the picture I got. It is exactly the picture you got with the person walking in the whole nine yards. And that looks like a beach. Yep. And he's walking uh, across something like. Um, he looks like he's walking across a bridge. There's, there's like, I don't know if it's like logs or something. Tight, a tight rope. It's like logs on a rope. It's weird. It's not a bridge. Shot it's a weird thing going on there. I don't know what it is. Is that the woods that you guys? Is that the woods that that you guys are from? Is that where it happened to you at? You see it on Christina. She's showing a picture of it. That's the picture you showed me in the ghost tube. 
You lost one of your legs. I'm sorry to hear that. All right. Did you, are you one of the, the one that lost the leg? Are you from the forest with the girls? Or are you someone else? Uh, well, there was air raid shelters and there was a military training camp there. So he might be one of the soldiers from not, you know, it just from the forest had nothing to do with the, with all the other stuff going on. Sacred he ground. To hurt people. Who's, where's the sacred ground at? He likes to hurt people. Hmm. Yeah. The guy I think you're talking that's on there walking said he likes to hurt people. I think they just showed you one of the people that's doing it. Mm. Was it says that picture? Liked? That picture? The, that picture I just showed you was on Google. Like that doesn't mean nothing. Don't that mean just mean that they found him on there and that's they showed you? Oh, is, yeah, he, yeah. is he one of the people that was in that picture that Christine just showed us? From Google, is that one of the men that, that's doing the mistreating? Yes. That's why we showed you, they said. Mm -hmm. Are you getting the same answers I'm getting? Ask I, just, them. I just thought it was weird that it was exactly the same picture. And what does that climbing thing have to do with anything? Walk back. A log bridge they used to cross. Oh. Okay. He was he walking back from where he done the hurting. It says walk back. In other words, the guy I think the guy was walking back. Mm. Yes, they said. Yes. So was the guy who lost his leg from um it, it, are you from the military um installment there? Um, I think I got a yes on that. It was it's faint. Yeah, because they they the Canuck Chase had a big military thing in there, so I'm thinking he he just followed the girls and then maybe they became friends. Their their spirits. <laughs> I think he's from the military part of it though. Girls, he's not the one that was that that lost his leg. He's not the one that hurt you, right? No, he's not. No, he's okay. not. He's he just came from there. He he's not from the same time period. He's from. Uh, well, he might be from the same time period, but he he's not from. He he was a, a soldier. I feel. Insist. Victoria, you insist what? Victoria insists as what? The Victoria again that said insist. Victoria insists. Oh. <laughs> Here's some chips here for your energy if you guys need to use it. Um, let me get you something else here too. How about some water to chase it down with? Yeah, I should get them some oranges or something. Yeah, I don't have any oranges. I can get some though, if they if they want some. I mean, even though I made banana peanut butter chocolate muffins today, I have kept them around because if I eat them, it you know it can take my sugar up. So. Oh yeah. Nineteen seventies. Nineteen seventies. It says he's from the nineteen seventies. Okay, here's just some water. To go along with your chips. And now you can get some energy from that. <laughs> 1970s would be, was you in Vietnam War? When was Vietnam War, you guys? That was in the 70s, wasn't it? 60s, 70s? Yeah, yeah. Was you in the Vietnam War? Yes, he said yes. You didn't die from losing your leg, did you? 
Nope. I got a no on that. Can you guys see what Jen said in the chat? Can you answer her on the box? Leaving without help, Jenny was going across the bridge running to and here. fell, and others got further before getting caught. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, I have to do that. I don't Dark entity here. He's outside because he's not inside. Malisha and Jacoby. Outside. Okay. Well, Logan and them would deal with that one. My dragon. They got him. Okay. You making him leave? Atlanta. He's leaving. I think he's going air mail if you want to know the truth about it. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna? Joanna, are you involved? Are you one of the girls too? Been here for centuries. Have you been here for centuries? <clears throat> Well, are you human? <laughs> Christina plugged in the wrong phone, y'all. Hang on. <laughs> she got to get back up. I was wondering why it was so quiet. <laughs> Why? Why she wasn't talking? <laughs> Joanna, are you are you are you one of the girls that that needs to be found? Oh, they found you. Okay. Am I getting that right, Kim or or uh, Tina or or Jen? I believe I'm hearing it right. She said yes. They found me. Select. Collect? What are you collecting? Or, or was he collecting people or they were collecting when they found you, they were collecting bodies? Uh, Jen, it's it's the spirit talker. I, I like it. I, I full well believe that you know, it, it's it's hit too much good tonight for it not to be a good, I mean, not to be real. You know what I mean? Some apps you, you question, you know, if they work or not. But this one, I can say I've had more real hits on it than I have false hits. <coughs> not Andre. So I, I, you know, I, I recommend it myself. Good night, Andre. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Some people don't like necrophonics, but I do. You know, I mean, some people don't like it, but yes, there's a sound bank, and yes, they, but they go in there and they pick these words out to say to you, and yes, it'll say off the wall words. It's, it's just you have to figure out, you have to learn which is the. Uh, False words that's just coming through all the time to ones that are, are meaningful and that are, are right. And you can tell a difference if you listen to it.
there's some chips here and some water. Help yourself. I said they need more energy. Get you some energy off of that. Yep, and I put out some oranges, guys. I mean, I could, and she's Christina's got some oranges nice. out for you. You think Joanne has a different story? Joanne, do you have a different story on what happened to you? Joanne is my mother's name. If it's Joanna. It's Joanna, not Joanne. Oh, okay. Hang on, y'all. I'm going to mute for a second. I don't want y'all to have to hear all this. <laughs> Mary's choking. I am. I'm sorry. It, you know, the LPD is it's a bitch and something goes along with it. That's all I can say. I think they have the names of the girls who were found, so let's see. Um, I was just looking at that. So I think they know they took um, Julia Taylor. She was nine years old. Margaret Reynolds. She was six years old. Diana Tift. She was five years old. I guess those are the ones that they definitely found. One, two, three. Do they have any more? Hmm. Christine Derby, she was seven. Yes. Okay, I got some more in through. After it said I need more energy, then a Joyce come through. Joyce, how old are you? Eight. Oh, this is funny. Are you one of the girls that that was in the in with that group? This is a crazy coincidence, not funny. A soldier named Michael um, blundered searching through a cluster of trees within the area. He was in platoon 110, discovered a child's sprawled body partially concealed by broken fern branches. So definitely soldiers were in the area around yes. then yes, i hear you yes i do <coughs> tina has some pizza and oranges at her house if you need some energy you can get energy at all three houses When I talk a lot, it's when it starts doing that, so I'm sorry. It said, uh, it said Joyce, it says she doesn't like visitors. Who doesn't like visitors, Joyce? Or is it you that doesn't like visitors? And then a Paul come through. 
P A U L, beside nurse, and you hear us. I was a nurse, a, uh, a, uh, a nurse's aide. Wow. They have. So, just to give you an idea, Mary, and this is not only the gathering. We are here always. We are here always. <laughs> okay. There's not only those 15 girls. Supposedly, in that, that area, there was 72 murders. So, uh, um, there was 13 girls. That's what they said. 13, 13 girls. 13 girls from that complex. Yeah. Right. With, with Jenny, but you have the soldier there. You have, you they know, are all from the, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm they, thinking they're, they're all from there because there was, if 72 murders, then, you know, um, that's a lot of people that be talking to you. Oh, I know. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, I'm not saying they're all from it. No, I know that. I'm just saying, like, maybe the, that's where the the men are coming in, too, you know? Well, that's what I'm at, fixing to ask. That's what I was just fixing to ask them. Yeah. <laughs> I was just fixing to ask Paul and uh, what was the other one? Uh, I can't see it. I can't scroll up. Hang on. Let me look and see real quick. Yeah, I'm um, 72. That that they know of. That's that's that they know of, you know. Uh today, April eighteenth, right? Yes. Okay, I'm looking at everything it says because I got it in the uh let's see. I want to get the name, last names that I heard in the males. Paul was one. Well, the one says I'm a man, but it doesn't say. He just said they oh, lost the egg. That might be Paul. Paul, are you the man? <laughs> yes, he said. So it is. That's his name, Paul, I guess. Mm -hmm. so, so far, there's him that come through. and But the other two was involved in it. So it wasn't them. So, but he's from the grounds. Are you from the grounds, Paul? Yes. Not involved. Mm -hmm. In the 13, he's not involved in that. Yeah. Was you murdered there, though? Yes. Hmm. Was. Okay, I gotta ask this question. Did they hunt you guys down like they would like the military would for the enemy? Because I don't know why it hit me like that, but it, it did. Yes. But was not the military. They were playing like they were. Yeah, I got the yes, too, but they wasn't the military that was there, the compound there. It wasn't them involved in it. It was these guys would hunt them like they did, like, like they were an animal or something. They would chase them and, and hunt them down. Missionaries, yeah. You know what else they have near there? The they have a war cemetery right in Canuck Chase in the town, which I think is not too far from the woods. Let me see how far away it is. Okay, I turned it back on you guys. You can talk on up now again. <laughs> Yeah. 
He was shot in the back, he said. It went straight through him. How, why was you out there? I mean, was you out there or how did they get you? Village. From the village? I ask Paul, are you German? Hang on, hang on. Was you homeless? Yes, they were, he was homeless. What do you want to know, Christina? No, I want to know if he was German. If he was what? German. Oh, are you German? Are you German? Was you German? I, I, I think I got a yes. Because you know, over there, um, they they ask why why are there Germans buried in the UK. But it seems that they turned um, in Canuck Chase. There was um, a war camp, and they took prisoners, uh, the German prisoners of war, there in April 1917. So I was just curious if if he was German and he was part of the war. Okay, let me let me ask him. Was your prisoner? Well, he might have not been able to be a prisoner before. <laughs> he might have been shot before then, but I mean, was he from the war? Okay, what I'm getting is. Please don't go now. I'm not going anywhere. Please don't go now. Please don't go now. I'm not going anywhere. Or if you're telling somebody else not to go, don't. I, I'm not going anywhere. I live here. Um. I get that he was, yes, he was a prisoner. We ran and they hunted us down. Ah. Mm -hmm. Is that what everybody else is getting? It's been a while since I did channeling, so. What? But apparently I'm, I'm on it tonight. <laughs> You're on it. Yes. I did a little bit last night or the other night with Boomer so that could be why I'm I'm warmed up. <laughs> I, warmed up. I just never really lost it. I just you know, I just hadn't been listening because I just hadn't been listening. Yeah. <clears throat> because yeah, it makes more sense because e even though around the 60s there was Vietnam, Vietnam was really it was it I don't, I don't know that the UK, like, it, I would say that it was more something that was going on earlier. That's why I said maybe not from the same time, because they fr they were from beforehand. That war was going yeah. on. Listen to this. This is a woman here. And then when I said about me you know, warming up or just trying to warm up. It says we're exercising you. <laughs> we're exercising you. There you go. They're, 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 right, they're warming me up, keeping me going. That's what they're doing. Yep. They're keeping you going there. And who's the, and it says, they've upset me. A woman here. Who's the woman that's here? They've upset me. I'm sorry. Who upset you? Am, are we upsetting you? I'm sorry if we are. Um, Carl um, said that. Oh, wait, let me find what Carl said. Oh, God, oh. I can't see. My, you know, I have to go to my chat. Hang on. No, no, no. I'm going to read it. Um, He says. Okay. Um, German spirits are seen all the time in the cemetery. Mm. Yeah, German German spirits are seen all the time in that cemetery. Yeah, because uh, uh, I just I just happened to put like war, 
and I put in the name of that forest and then it gave me, you know, that. So I was assuming that's what it was. Um, I know this is a little off topic, guys, but Pam has a question for you guys. Um, she wants to know if the person in her house is a childhood friend. Hang on, uh, I'll get, get to her in just a minute. Right. Uh, yeah, he said it, it, would, it would not surprise Carl. A lot of folks have gone missing near or around Connect Chase. Um, hang on. corner you're in the corner yeah you're by my computer right control are you trying to say you're controlling my computer at the time at the moment are you saying you're controlling going through what's being said on the, on with us each of us. So all of us get the same answer. Is that what you're trying to say? Basically. Um, okay. I'm just gonna use the little girl's room. Hang on a minute. Um, can you tell me the person is in my house? I'm not sure if he's a childhood friend or not, but he says he is. Oh, uh, hang on, you you're Shifting gears on me here, so um, Ash Ash Ash, you got something to tell me? Are you are you it said Ash again, Tina? <laughs> Pam, hang on a minute, okay? It, it, it's going to take me a minute to channel through, okay? Uh, somebody may get stuff before me. Salt. Ash, salt. I need salt. Is you trying to tell me I'm in trouble? They're not keeping out what I need kept out. Yeah, they're keeping it out. Whatever it is, they gonna touch me. I say no, and I got a, I got nothing but white light around me. Can't touch me. Sorry, thank you. I had to go. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Who's upset? Tina, is Ash trying to tell me I need to put salt somewhere? Ask him. There's someone here to hurt me. Well, yeah, he, he must be helping. Uh, he must be helping my spirit guys because they're all on it. They're kind of scrambling, actually. They all went to one spot. Yeah, outside, outside the house. Yeah, they they can't come in. If they can't come in, I I. Yeah, not happening. My house is, I, I'm pretty much warded. And I don't think, I don't think it's just my spirit guides that got me warded either. I think, 
you really want to know the truth, I think that the divine has me warded. I believe that I'm, yeah, I, I don't think that they can get to me at all. I've never felt that they could. I've never had to worry about it. I don't wear any protection on me. It's because it's it's in me, whatever it is. Well, I still wear it all. I don't care. <laughs> well, I don't have it on me, but I've got some in here. I'm not right. saying I don't have something here. I'm yes. just saying I don't wear it. Right. I still got the sage. I still got black salt. I got no yeah, water. Go well. I got holy water. I still got it all just because some well, of them. I, have, have, yeah. I need somebody to send me some black salt and some uh, uh, um, holy water. Oh. I had my aunt go to the church and ask for holy water. <laughs> That's how I got all mine. And I keep every time she would go, I'd be like, get holy water. She's like, Jesus Christ, how much you need? I go, you never know. <laughs> I know. I, I, yeah, I'll take all the help. Trust me. I got Alicia as my wolf that is here. And then I have Jacoby, which is an elemental. He yeah, is. But is, you know. Um, he's Danny's great. He's Danny's uh, Astro's grandson. Mm -hmm. But you know, Alicia and Ash are related. So. All right. I'm just telling everybody what I have here and what their names are. Oh, yeah. So I was saying for the chat because she was like, oh, um, yeah, Ash is probably there, you know, helping you. And then I was like, oh, okay. yeah, well, yeah, because Nalisha's is actually his mother, right? Or are related. Her. No. Our sister, maybe. Sister. They're, they're brother and sister, ain't they? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't think about it. I don't. It pinged in my head when I said that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not something they told me. I was just saying that. Right. Yeah, I got to get back to doing the family tree. Gosh, I went through a lot, but I was so confused. I was like, I, I got to take a break, but now I got to go back to it. Uh, since Ash, Salt, I'm Upset, Choose, we occupied this land, Mind and Joy. We occupy this. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's the it's the um, uh, maybe it's the the Indians you had on that land that were upset. You know, they're gonna talk too because you know now they got open range, Mary, because you just let it all in. You're like, yeah, okay, let's do this. So probably you have them there too. Oh, you know when I said that I I need to that I need to mute for a minute. Yeah. And I Choked a little bit. It's mm -hmm. in choke choking on here. Yeah. It says I'm in the corner control. Ash salt. I'm upset. Choose. We occupied this land. Mind joy my stomach. No, I didn't forget. No, I just I didn't stomach uh, was upset. It says upset. It says I'm upset. It says my stomach. Oh. So, um it's not me. You must have responded. But she's not related to Nelly. I was just saying how the reason why Ash would go over there, of course, is because Nalisha and him are related. I didn't forget about the mate. I just did. I have the mate actually is 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 there, and I put I put her, his mate in the family tree already. Right here. Do you say Aishika? Is that how you say that? Ishka or Ishka, maybe? Ishka, yeah. Yes, he is, Evie. Yes. Uh, I could tell you exactly, but I'd have to like open my app here. Nice Wait. to meet you, too. Um, 
Is that you, Joy, talking? There's a Joy now. Mm. Queenie is over here, over there, too. Left Sparkle with all the buffs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm all here protecting me. Thank you. Um, Maybe I need to put some more snack out. I only got a few chips out. No. Your family is here? Oh well, there you go. The whole the whole wolf pack. Is your family um, in, is your family in the in the chat? Are we talking to your family, or is your family passed on, Joy? If there's somebody in the chat that you want to talk to, or you have a have a message to you can you can tell us. She said, "Okay." Okay, I'm looking for <laughs> where I find it. Who Here's do you have? Give me the name of who you have a message for. The, it, no just way. so you. Now they're telling somebody to go away. See all the. <laughs> so I have to go through all of them. Joy, who are you here for? So, gay yeah. away. Kim, do you know a Joy? It's passed away. Or know somebody that of that name? And the other one, I'm trying to get through, but for some reason, there he's not wanting to talk. So um, he's not said anything to me yet. I did open the line of communication to him. Okay. For Christine, it was Christine one that that asked that. Um, asked what? He just said not wanting to talk. Why are you not wanting to talk? Is it because you're not a childhood friend and you're lying to her? If you are, then can you tell me who you are? Marriage. It's a carriage. Colin. Colin. Did you take care of the carriage house, Colin? <clears throat> I need some tea. I don't have anything. It's a fart. <laughs> I, I did say, Kim. See what I've sent you in the message. No, I, I've been got my phone on an app and I can't see it. Hang on, you guys. I got to mute for a second. All righty. So I I was looking. So um, depending on because there's a few gateways. Um, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but anyway. So it could be his uncle. Or one of his cousins. <laughs> That's how it would go. That's how they're related. But they are related. Um, so, yeah. Oh, you know what, Joy? Oh, maybe it was for you. Um, Jen, I don't know. Uh, I'll ask Mary when she comes back. Joy didn't talk to me. But <laughs> I talked to you, but... Um, I don't think it would be her yet. Are you talking about the same one, Jen? The one that was on YouTube and DLive? So Kim, you don't you don't know no one offhand, okay? Joy, did you say Kim? Yes. I don't know why she she's insisting that it's Kim. Maybe you ask Christina and see what answer you get. 
Oh, is, <coughs> is this Joy for Kim? Our Kim in the chat? Oh, yeah. They said yes. Oh, good, Tina. So then we know she has she has the uncle, which is Lisbeth's my wolf here's brother. <laughs> there you go. Who's Ash's mother? Did you get all that now? Stop. <laughs> William. Who's William? Okay, William, who are you know somebody here or are you here from the forest? What's it which is it? Are you from around here? <clears throat> so who's the Kim for? <laughs> Christina, who'd you say Kim was for? No. I know no. Kim, but Joy. Yeah, for Kim. Yeah, that's, I don't, yeah. That's what I'm getting in it. Okay, Joy, if you're here for if you're here with Kim or to, to say hi to Kim. How, how do you, how do you her? Yeah, how do you know her? A friend. What? Okay, was you was you a childhood friend? Or a school friend, or, or what? School and childhood friend. Not close friend, it said. She said. Just in passing, she said. So you're just saying hi? You're stopping and say hi? Yes. Stopping in to say hi. Yeah. And I got a William and Hunt. Uh, William, was you hunted hunted like the like uh, Paul was? Fifty thousand ashes and Instruct. Instruct. She said it's okay, Kim. She just said it's okay. As soon as you put that in there, in there, she must be reading the chat. She suggests I am. She said, that's how she knew you, you was here. She said, familiar. She could feel the familiar, I guess, your spirit. That's cool. That's cool, Joy. I'm glad. I'm glad you stopped in just to say hi. She said she started. She don't remember you, but you already read that. Did you answer it? Do you believe we're real? Yes, I do believe you're real. Are you real? Yes. Yes. I got about 20 yeses there all at once. Hey, Christine, I'm doing all the talking. You can talk, too. Oh, well, you have the app up, so, and you seemed, you were channeling, so I was like, okay. I was going to make a cigarette. <laughs> and it makes noise, so that's why I put myself on mute. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I want to know, I want to know if you're hearing the same thing I'm hearing when we ask something, so... It's two of us hearing the same thing, or or anybody in chat for that matter, who can can talk right. to them. 
and where we're getting the same answer. So I know, you know, it's just validation. That's all I can say. Uh, so William, you was one of them that was chased too. Trees. Yeah, through the trees. Chase through the trees, it says. Where was you shot at? You shot in the head? Was trying to get away, he said. Um, Joy, are you still here? Yes. Hang on. Let me ask Kim. Kim wants to know, Joy, did you go to East High School? You went to East High School? I'm getting a yes. I'm not playing. Oh. I'm not playing. Who's not playing? What do you mean you're not you're not you're not gonna answer? Is that what you're saying? Uh are you telling you're not playing about what happened? No, no, it's a different one saying I'm not playing. Oh you don't have to, you don't have to talk on here if you don't want to. Nobody's making you. Totally up to you what you want to share. Well, I'm sorry, William, that, that you had to die like that. You died like that. Nobody should ever have to go through that. Oh, my God. That's crazy, Carl. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> You're welcome, Kim. I, I don't know why, but I get I get the the word cheerleader, Kim. I don't know. Check to see if she was a cheerleader. I got yes, cheerleader, I and I don't know why I got that, but it's, I could be wrong with that, but it just popped in my head. Oh, Joy, you were a cheerleader? <laughs> well, she was in the popular crowd. <laughs> Did she tell you she was too? Yeah, I mean, well, the meter went off, so I asked them, and they said yes. I understand you. There was a German POW camp near the World War I training site from 1914 till 1919. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, uh, okay, let me ask you. William and Paul, which which war was you in? Can you tell me? You can tell me in my head. You can send it to me in my head, or you can say it on the Spirit Talker. Hi, Doris. Good to see you, Hi, Doris. Doris son. I've missed your face. Thank I've you missed your periods. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Thanks for hanging. Still got 15 people here. Six. Thank you. Somebody I think six of mine and and uh, Am I really dead? Yeah, oh, sweetheart. Yes, honey. I'm sorry, sweetie. Do you see us? Do you think that we're the ones that's passed on? Do you see us that way? The one that's asked if you was if are you really dead? I think um um why I 
I think that she's upset that she's deceased. And she's asking if she's really dead and why. Well, I know, but sometimes she I wonder if they see she us. Oh, she hasn't died that long ago. I don't know. No, I mean, I, I, I can't believe she's coming through like she is. Uh, four weeks, maybe? Yeah, it ain't been very long. She's... Honey, if, you know, if they taught you how to get energy, you can get energy off the water in this cup, or you can get energy off these chips I have out. A snack here. If you know how to do that. Oh, I should put a candle on for them, too. Mm -mm. Or uh, Tina in the chat has stuff out, and so does Christina. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that you passed away. <sighs> hey, I'm very slow. I just realized you were live right along with Christina. <laughs> yeah, I am, Jenny. It's okay. But thank you. Yeah, we're both. Just, just give me a thumbs up over there, y'all. That's that's what I have to, you know. Yeah, when we we are sharing uh, the live on Thursdays, I go live same time she does, and we share. You know, I share off of first, and because uh, we do it together, so that way we both have it on our channels. Yes, my co-host Mary needs. We've been that you're not seeing in chat. That's because they're over in my chat and seeing on, on, on stream yards. We see both chats. We see each other's chat. So that's why you may not be seeing somebody that we're talking to. <laughs> okay. what they just say? Um, the children are listening. As the supply, it's about to begin. The children are listening. Graveyards hide secrets. <clears throat> yeah, I could say that graveyards probably do hide secrets. And yes, the children are listening over it. Christina's, they sure are. Yeah, they sure are. I think there's a couple children here still. Or they were here. What's a true statement? Doris says she's got lace chips. No, oh, there you go. He was shot. You were shot? <laughs> Who am I talking to now? What is your name? No one has said I was shot. What's your name? Did spirit drain your battery? Are you talking about on Christina's? Oh, I well, I have, I have it plugged in, so hopefully it won't happen again. <laughs> Bye, Evie. You take care, Evie. It's good seeing you here. Evie, yeah, much I love to you. I forget that it's your daytime over there. Mm -hmm. uh, but you take care, Evie. I love you. We love you. Spirits love you, too. Yep. And we'll go, Mary. We're saying it. All of them, I can hear them saying we love her, too. <laughs> yep. Um, 
we'll go another 20 minutes for we'll make it four hours because i didn't even eat dinner and it's going to be 10 o'clock <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think i need to start going i need to go live sometime or another this week this weekend yeah so we can continue some of this i need to yeah i think i need to chase is a small village around it from 500 a 580 bc up to 899 bc no it was known as the badlands oh well, I, did I, I didn't get an answer on when I asked them what war they were in. Um, well, I, I I thought Paul did say he was from that um, 1917 war, the Germans and the... Oh, good for you, World Doris. War one. World War One. Yeah. I, get, I got the one. That's what he said, one. He's probably out of energy to say the whole nine yards of it. So I would say World War One, yeah. Good, Doris. I'm glad. I was wondering if you got a car or if it was. I need to get one. I could buy one. I just have, I procrastinate. Scott, your name is Scott. So you're so you're another. Was you shot? In the forest over there running too with the others. Yes. Oh. Running for our lives, he said. Mm. <clears throat> Did you guys do you guys wanna cross over tonight? You're going to come and cross over? Do you want to cross over, you guys? Yes. No, the soldiers. Uh, go to, you can go to Tina's, or you can go to uh, Christina's, or you can go to the Grove. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a crossover today. Tina's going to do one tomorrow. Um, I don't know that I'm strong enough to cross you guys over. He said, no, you. I... I trust them to cross you over, yes. Can you play music? I I can play music, yeah, if I, if I go to, if I was to do that, but I... We can't play it right now, though, because we're, on, we're, on, we're online. Yeah, we're online. I do music right before my crossover. We have a whole playlist that the spirits made of their songs they like, the spirit guys. See, Christina plays music and stuff. You cross over with her. I trust her. Um, she has I, a lot of good ones there, too. You could you could help go, you know. Oh, Tina did one yeah. earlier today. Okay. Um, I have Diane muffins that I made. I have oranges and i just had um a kit kat a, one of those little baby kit kats because i'm starving like i said i didn't eat really, i didn't eat before the stream like i usually do because i had made muffins for my son and for us hey, he, just said, he just said yes he will because i said he could go and help the kids and he said yes i will so you can expect them to be coming there Oh, well, Jacoby comes. He knows I have his songs on the playlist. Right. I have Ash's song on the playlist. Yeah. Elvis, Winter Wonderland. I have yeah. <laughs> um, the kiddos, yeah. the songs yeah. they like. I have Shine, you know, the prayer song. You're, then I have You're very welcome. My friend Jack's song. He's from the cemetery over here, but he can't leave the cemetery. But, I mean, he can't crossover to leave the grounds but he can come and hear the music so they just it, well, they just ask me can we come back if we cross yes you can yes. come back you can come back and visit if you cross over yes oh yeah we have lots that cross over and then 
you have a place to go get your energy, be safe, and you can come back and visit whoever you want. Uh, my mom's crossed over. She comes to visit all the time. Mary's mom's crossed over. She comes all yep. the time. Yep. He said, that's good. Aw. Aw. <laughs> he said he was worried. He said, I was worried. About it. Because of family. I, I guess he still has family living. Oh, yeah, of course. And, you know, sweetheart, a lot of people feel that way it you can if you're on the other side you can help your family if you're here and you all don't cross you can't help them but if you're crossed you can help them find the light be waiting for them too so it's it's better to be crossed honey and you're safer you don't have to worry about the bad spirits trying to get you so I was Jen say, is that the paid version? Um, you know what? I think it is, yeah. I think I did pay for it, yes. Pay attention. Yes, I will, son, and pay attention. Um, yeah, Pam wants to know, did you ever figure out who was at her house? I know we were saying it and then oh. we got I tried to get him to, to talk to me, Pam, and he said he wasn't up to talking. I don't know if he doesn't have the energy, maybe, to talk to me. Um, let me try again real quick while we're still on here. Yeah, I mean, I get the feeling he does know you. How he well, know you. How, how well, Pam, I'm not sure. Uh, but they do say he's good. He's he's a good one. I mean, he's not bad. <laughs> so, you know. Um, on, I'm getting it. Hang on. He's, he's finally talking a little bit. Mm. Childhood friend. <clears throat> Thank you, Retro Gaming. He said he was a childhood friend. Something about recess. Played games at recess. What is your name? I'm trying to get this name. Hey, Jim. Oh, How are you, sweetheart? Seventeen hundreds. And Clifton is name of Clifton or Cliff or something. Oh, hi, Jim. I haven't seen you in a while, Jim. 
I I haven't seen you live anyway. I did see I did you know some of your videos. I haven't been commenting, guys. I kind of oh, you didn't listen to this. Mm. Since it just said I did not believe in this. It watches from the dark. It watches from the dark. Yeah, well, whatever's watching can watch, but uh, the one that didn't believe in this. So are you believe now? Now that we can, you can talk to us. Do you believe in the afterlife now and stuff? Um, Christine, he says, childhood friend, you played games in recess. That's the most I'm getting so far. Um, he's, he's got very low. He's stalked. He's talking very low because his energy is not good. And if you put a snack out for him, maybe he will get some energy and be able to talk to me better. Um, did it say he's watching from the dark? Because now it's dark came in, Jim, and he said he's been lurking. He couldn't chat. So I'm wondering if they were talking about Jim. Um, I, I think so. Was you talking about Jim? He's watching from the dark. <laughs> lurking, they said, lurking. Yeah, he's, I he's him, I lurking, the, lurking. He was lurking in the dark. Uh, yeah, um, because he said he ha he wasn't able to chat. Okay, and um, there. Uh, now, Stark, was you lurking? Yeah, he said that. He said he he's been catching the two of our live streams, just haven't been able to chat. So he has been lurking. <laughs> so are you talking about she's over there? Are you talking about Ruth from the 1700s? There's a Ruth from the 1700s and says she's over there. <clears throat> I'm always lurking, yeah. Mm -hmm. I Jim, you can come up on the panel sometime with us. Oh, yeah, we'd love to have you. <clears throat> yep, yep, most definitely would love to have you. Um, Done. Clip, it's Clippered. Cliff Clippard. That's that's the name I kept getting, but I'm not sure. I, I'm not good with names. I will tell you that straight up. Um, is Mary right on the name? Most people call him called him Cliffy with a Y. Like that was his. Wow, the pendulum really swing. Um. That he was a child. He was a childhood friend, so it could be that they did yeah. call him that when he was a child. You know. Yeah, as a child. Sure. Maybe. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, I, I. They're interesting. We're gonna see. We're doing the paranormal. Um, yeah, we're starting on them now. I think we're to do the next one. Are to be. What What do you guys want to know about next with paranormal? Well, yeah, what's the, the next tool that you guys want to know about? The spirit box yeah. came from Crystal, and that's why we're doing spirit box today. I think you do one on, on, on orbs. No, uh, this is what's in your paranormal toolbox, okay? This oh, is not about yeah, orbs yeah. right now. We're going to do the tools first, then we'll go to the other stuff. All right, all right, that's fine. Yeah, tools first. So like like black salt, I guess, and like so we'll do some we could do protection stuff, even though I've done a few. We could do more on the what protection stuff people carry around. Yes, we're both live. We there do is more to it than there is more to it than just you know one thing. It's there's more to it than the stones we've already talked about. Yeah, is yeah. There, um so uh, yeah but i mean this is stuff that 
paranormal we're doing the toolbox stuff that people will carry right. oh, with them. so we'll do yeah what stuff people carry for protection we'll do what other tools like the emf meters um how they like, work like the rem pods how they work just like i did with the spirit box right. um uh what you can use instead what you can make stuff like that i mean i've done that too like what you can use other than the normal paranormal tools um, yeah, like it's cheaper, but what we'll do is we'll do it individually and we'll do the history and everything and we'll do these demonstrations after of whatever we're doing um and how we use our protection like the black salt and the, the holy water everything anna hi anna yeah yeah jim that does happen it's happened mm -hmm. to me a few times too um is christine she still here or Pam, not Christine. Not Pam. Pam, not Christine. I mean Pam. Pam, yeah. you still here? I don't know why I said Christine. I think I was looking at your name. Yes. <laughs> I know she was here just a, a bit ago. She commented. Um, Dowsing rods, magnets, pump, energy. Yes, all that stuff. Um, yeah. Um, we'll just pick one. We'll just pick one for next week and go with that. Yeah. <clears throat> and doing the do one at a time, and then we'll yeah, we'll do one. At a time. How much is how much we can find on one? Yeah, well, she it's because she does she does the research nine times on time. Yeah, I do the research. Um, and you know how to operate it all. <laughs> and he, she does the video operating. I do the the videos. Yeah. Um, hey, do you know a clip or Clipper or Clippy? Clippy. He his, name, his nickname was. They called him Clippy. They called him Cliffy, but I think his name was like yeah, Clifford. Uh, his full name maybe. His full name was Clifford. Yeah. And they called him Clip or Clippy. For short. And he talked about uh being in the schoolyard um the with with you. Uh, recess. Just trying to find joy in the yearbook. There you go. There's probably a lot of joys. Or Joyce's. It could very well be a Joyce, and they it's yeah, I think it, yeah, Joyce is her more to the stories. This is my home, more to the stories. Uh, what's your home, Anna? Oh, it says Seth, too. Before that, it says Seth, and then Anna. It said, yes. Okay, wait a minute, it said son, then Seth, Anna. This is my home, more to the stories, aggressive. Clippers friends called him Clippy or Clip. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I that's what I said. Yeah, that's 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 she's just confirming like she heard that too. So yeah, okay. Yeah, we all heard the same thing, so keep me wrong on that. Yeah. Um He likes your energy, Pam. All of that the lights. And likes you. He liked you or likes you. He liked you or something. There wasn't a joy or Joyce in the year in the same grade. Um, th that doesn't mean she was uh, not in a lower grade or one higher, right? Right. Yeah, it's just somebody that she knew. Yeah, just somebody who went to school with you. Uh was in 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 school the I same time. You were. Here, but I don't think she is. Joy, are you still here? Uh was she 
was she, yeah, and I don't think she died young either, Joy. Not too young, not before she graduated. Maybe right after. Car accident, maybe when she was in her 20s. But I, I definitely think she finished school. I got the I got the number 23. Mm. Uh, that she died. She was 23. He's dangerous. How did you die? His. She died in a car wreck. Hit the side of the vehicle. She was on. She had no pain. Killed her instantly. She said. Abigail. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, that was. Are you, are you older or are you younger than Kim? I got older. Okay, yeah. A year. A year. Okay, so she would have been in maybe a grade higher than you. Recording. She says, I think a year older. Definitely older, she said, but she doesn't know if it's a year or not, or if it's more. She thinks a year. Okay, what's the spirit talker saying now? Uh, Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Aggressive. I'll affect the lights. He's dangerous. Is Abigail recording? Hi, Abigail. Uh, if he's dangerous, he won't be here and affect my lights. Uh, they haven't flickered or nothing. Oh, maybe they're talking about my EMF. The lights. Are you talking about her EMF? Make it go off if you are. Can you make it go all the way to red if, it's you, if that's what you meant? Or pretty darn close. I, I put can. out food and everything. <laughs> can you affect the lights? Oh, I get okay. Yeah, you see, it went to red. My EMF's not on. It's the battery. I need to change the battery in it. Not uh, only did it go to red, but it made the when it went to red. Well, oh, okay. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. All uh, right. The screen the went off funny. Yes, we are recording. Yes. Satan. Satan. Uh, he, he's not welcome here either. Yeah. We but I think what they, they were trying to tell you about he's evil. That that was the person. Um, yeah. Okay, so Abigail, were you um, killed by Satan worshippers? <laughs> Yo, the EMF went to red. So maybe, I think maybe, you know, Satan, you know, occult people. She was killed um, by them. More to the stories, yeah. Aggressive, all affect the lights. He's dangerous. Yeah. It is Abigail recording Satan. Yeah. Um I don't know. That's what I what I I felt right away. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe. Abigail, oh, Abigail was killed by by this guy. That, that's what you got to Tina. Yeah, that that it was a Satan worshippers that killed her. And we're talking about Abigail, right? Abigail, yes. Yeah. Okay, because it it just that popped in my head too. Mm -hmm. That yeah, but it was like a. I was trying to get the other one, and I got two different things, and I'm trying to see which one's which. <laughs> yeah. But I got two of them talking to me, so. I, yeah. I can only I can only get bombarded, you know, so much. Right. 
Well, we got Joy. Joy was in the car accident. Cliffy was in the playground like a And now we got Abigail who was killed by Satan worshippers. What do you mean by the bench? What's that mean? You got killed on the bench? The others scare me. The others scare me. Well, I'm sorry they scare you. How old are you? How old are you, um, uh, Abigail? How old are you? Say it one more time. I got 10. What, well, how old is she? What are y'all getting? Um, well, I, I kind of got a little younger, like nine, eight or nine, or between eight and nine. I know she said 10 twice to me, so I don't know. Um, uh, what are you getting, Tina? No, when I think when she there was 10 others, I think oh. what she was trying to tell you, the others scare her, there was 10 of them maybe 10 of them in that group of satan worshipers maybe but that's not what i asked her i mean that's why I well that's, you know you I gotta wait a second I didn't she's, know what she yeah so okay let me let me ask her that then yeah ask her that there 10 of them i'm not aggressive was there 10 of them yes there was 10 of them then what is your age? Is that what? So that's how old you are? You're not 10 then. Right. I, I, it, I, it, I, it, it, she said well, that she I just felt her, her energy was younger, but okay, but it's not much younger. She said that she just turned nine. Right, between eight and nine. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, she just turned nine, and there was ten others there. Marianne. Good. I'm now. I'm glad you're not aggressive. Marianne, are, are you one of the victims too? Or are you coming from Christina's? Forty? Who's Diane getting forty from? Well there's so many of them you don't know that there's not a 40 year old hanging out there <laughs> hey, who's, who's Diane talking to you because I'm talking to that though I was talking to a little girl yeah that was Abigail but there there yeah there's plenty but maybe the um Marianne how old are you I moved things you move things? Hmm. Uh, move something on my table right here. Wow, Carl, really? They're believers now? <laughs> we should send all the debunkers there, those little bastards. <laughs> Not that I care. I don't have anything to debunk, but... Um, that's some funny stuff. But sometimes they're just, they're really rude. Like, you know, there's the bunkers who believe in paranormal and just show you who does the fake stuff, which is good. But those ones that don't believe and try to debunk, I don't like those kind of people because I'm like, how how can you debunk something you don't believe in? You're like Hi, a Cassie. Hi, Cassie, love. Uh 
oh ya um uh hang on Diane I'll ask you the 40 40 year old is okay Diane says 40 year old here who is it give me give me your name illegal I got Robert as a 40 year old. And they said Robert tonight. No, I don't believe so. I don't think so. Let me go back and look. I'll tell you in a minute. Said Ernest Raymond. No, I don't think we got. We haven't got a Robert. Margaret. Well, we did in the beginning, but he's the guy who with the girls in the forest. But he's he died at eighty four in jail. So I don't think that's. yeah okay when you when you do that when you believe in it and you just show how the light that was the light instead of an orb that stuff i understand it's good i like that kind of debunking it's the other ones that want to debunk the whole thing that like we're all freaking crazy that i don't like (laughs) But the ones that are like, no, that was really the light hitting this window and then this mirror, and that's what made that anomaly. That's okay. I, I don't mind that. You know. Um, we know not everything's paranormal, but yeah. I did get a, I got a Ronald. Right, a Ronald, no Robert. I think this is the first Robert. I got a Ronald and a Raymond. That's two R's there, but Yep, that's the old crew. When Cassie did Oracles and I did only investigating and Mary did only crazy live streams. <laughs> Back in the day. I did some paranormal there too now. This wasn't just about live streams. Well, you did paranormal on live streams. You didn't go out investigating. Right. Well, no, I didn't go anywhere, but some others did, you know, and I, I have them. Right, 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 right. But I meant, like, I went out investigating. You did the live streams and, and right. cast the oracles. She was the the right. huntress back then. <laughs> there are Colin and William. Uh, let's see. Scott. So, oh yeah, it was it was Raymond. You're right. It was Raymond who was the murderer, right? They did s- five years. Wow. That's crazy, Carl. Well, give it a few more minutes, guys, only because I, I said I was going to stop at four hours, but I didn't because <laughs> I do. I am still hungry and I do uh, have a big crossover. To, I'm, I'm waiting for Sarah to say on the spirit box, you hit one million. <laughs> yes, uh, Diane, I believe it would be 84. Because it's 2024. So from. Four, He could be someone from here. I track the older spirit gents. <laughs> it could be Diane. It could be someone at your house talking to you.
Mm-hmm. Cassie, did you watch the cropsy, cropsy, cropsy video I did? <laughs> Paranormal anomaly and psychic research is crazy. At least somebody's checking it, Carl. Because, you know, they they still think that the sixth sense You're right. You're right. doesn't exist. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I get the debunkers. I understand them wanting to debunk people. And some of them need debunk. Some of them need it. I mean, they really do. Oh, yeah. But, but like I said, if you don't believe in it, I don't think you're suitable to debunk things that you don't believe in. True. But there is some out there faking the stuff. And, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, but. I understand it, but. But. The, it says on their channel already. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying family. is. A debunker should believe in the paranormal and just debunk the anomalies that they know are not paranormal. They're from light. They're from this. Scientific science goes with everything. So I believe highly in the science of finding things that, you know, weeding out what's not paranormal. But people who don't believe in it, how, how would they know? unless it's like that, like this was light, how could they actually debunk something if they don't believe in it? You understand what I'm saying? That's the only thing I'm saying. People that are non-believers should not be able to debunk paranormal unless you, they're doing like light anomalies that are scientific. <laughs> not, 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 you know, not, you know, because they, they have no, when you're debunking something, you have to, um, there has to be both sides of the coin. Otherwise, how do you know what it is? You understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, Jim. I, I didn't know you was leaving. If you're, if you're still listening, good night. And good yeah, night, Jim. Have, I didn't know he was going either. We got so busy. You're going to have to come and hang with us one night. Uh, if you let us know, message us or something, and let us know, you know, when's good for you. On an afternoon or something, we'll yeah, we'll make a point to to all of us to get together. I think it would be yeah. great all of us together again. What's my talker saying? It says uh, mental. I was eighty. Oh, maybe they were answered, Chris, uh, Diane. I was eighty. Maybe they maybe he was eighty four or he is 80, 80 something. Uh, it says the road shot and then paranormal. It says paranormal. <laughs> I think it was answering us on the paranormal. Yeah, right. They, th well, that's what I'm saying. In order to, what was it, what, what's it called to be objective? There, that's the word I was looking for. In order to be objective, you have to have some kind of belief in it. <laughs> right. I mean, uh, you can debunk something. If you have no belief in it, like my sister believes in paranormal, but she believes in science. She knows spirits exist, but she believes that a lot of it, kind of like Boomer, she believes that no, it's not all paranormal. Like, like uh, um, a lot of it is scientifically could be scientifically proven, but there is paranormal. See, so you have to have that. You have to ha a be, you know, objective. Otherwise, you can debunk it. W which is what I believe. But anyway. <laughs> which is why I'm glad when people start doing so much research on it. And they really have been researching, like, the past lives and stuff like that. So that's fabulous because that will give... Um, that will give more credit to to some of the stuff that we do. So it, it is good. Right. My father always sang that song, Diane. Yeah, always. You know, I just I just feel like, you know, that how how can they gonna how can they debunk something 
it says they don't but if they don't believe in it and they see a spirit on there how they're going to say that's that's all they're faking that or place. all they're doing that or whatever right how they're going to know if they don't believe in it themselves how they're going to know if it's real or not how they're right. going to know if that if that's an orb or not if they don't don't believe in the paranormal and don't right. you know how they're going well, to know if uh if the banging and stuff is is all the building just falling apart or that's and they're right, really right. Answering, somebody's talking to them right you know and I, I mean, mean there's there's some that you can tell right <laughs> that is blatantly like I, i'll never forget i was watching somebody and i'm not going to say who it is i was watching yeah, a, big, a, a bigger youtuber and they were with two other people so there was three of them all together in in around the same part of the house and there was a noise and they were like oh my god i know it was the other one who did it as they were faking this noise behind them in the other room because you could see through it it was abandoned place you yep. could see that and they weren't in that room you know the three were in the other room Right. You could see a piece of pipe like swinging from the ceiling, like lightly, not a big swing, but you could tell it was moving. You could tell that something was moving it. And I was laughing my ass off. And I was like, this is so funny. They were so caught up on the little noise that obviously one of them made um, that they didn't notice. And even in editing and everything, didn't notice that this was... Yeah, they were moving. Uh, I, that pipe, I that pipe was about. moving for no reason at all. So, and you'd be surprised how many of them that does all this and they do fake stuff that catch real stuff or don't they even catch, realize they the catch real, real stuff all the time and they always miss it because they, they don't know what to look it. for because they're too busy faking everything. But, right. um, but in a uh, ghosts are everywhere, so you're bound to get uh some in abandoned places especially especially if you're bothering them and you know doing this stuff um in their in their house or their property or whatever they're gonna they're gonna let you know so i just i just feel it's funny but so you could tell that some things you know are just not but in retrospect they were going to an abandoned place to check it out so I don't, you know, especially the people who do just abandoned stuff. I don't, most of them, some of them don't even do paranormal and still catch paranormal. Um, and they're just, you know, doing, they don't even put it up as paranormal. They didn't even know what it was. They, a lot of them put it up. They were in these abandoned places. They catch all these things. They're not looking for them because they're editing. Uh, <laughs> I would love to see the editing on some of these people's, these abandoned place, the people who do like urban exploring. I, I would love to see their full videos. You know how much stuff they probably edit out and don't even realize. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and what they don't catch. But you know, I, the ones that the one that I watched that's up, up near Chicago, and he come and chat. Remember I told you about him? Yeah. That, yeah. Anyway, they have caught stuff, but he and but he knows what to look for. And, and yeah, some of them do know, know what to look for, but others that are just doing a couple. Of, well, I helped him right to learn what to look for and to 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 kind of watch for things that you know that normally he wouldn't wouldn't pick up. Right. And, he, and I so I started helping him. He. He sent me a couple of videos that that wasn't edited and it, and none of that, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I watched them and, and I told him I said, "There's this and this." So he he watched it himself, and he said, "Oh my God, I can't believe I I." He said, "I didn't notice it when I first watched it." I said, "You got it. You know, there's certain things to watch for," and I said, "You'll be surprised what you guys have picked up in your videos that you haven't." That you haven't edited out. He said, Well, I don't edit out a lot of them, and he doesn't. Right. And, well, uh, well so because, I, yeah, when you're doing urban exploring, you're like showing everything. It's, right. you know, and, and you don't normally cut too much. Like us, like I might do six hours of paranormal investigating, only get three yeah, things. Then you got to cut it I'm down. I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to show you six hours of video, right? That's right. just craziness. Um, but them, 
they go in there, they go out, they're in there 40 minutes, maybe show you the whole place, get out, right? That's all they're doing. They're not looking for paranormal. So they don't even have to edit too much because eh, they got 40 minutes. Here it is. This is what we did. And bye, you know. Well, that's how he started realizing that he was picking up stuff like that is because I started telling him. I right. sent video back to him and I told him, I said, you need to rewatch this. I said, because you've caught a shadow figure walking across there. I said, and you've got stuff moving that you don't even realize it's going on. I said, you had no idea. And he said, oh, my God. And that's when he started realizing that he's been picking stuff up. And I said, he said, he said, can you watch my videos and tell me if, if you see any more? So I started binge watching his videos and telling him, you know, I, there wasn't a lot in a lot of them. But in some of them, he had caught stuff that he didn't realize it, you yeah. know. And that's well, when he started believing that he, he said. He was kind of skeptic. He said, but watching, he said, how do you, he says, I know for a fact, because you could see through the one, she walked, she walked right straight across the hall yeah, where he was filming at. He didn't see her, but you could see her on the video and, and you could tell it was a female cause she had like a dress on and, um, it was in an old hospital. Hmm. And I would say it was a nightgown, probably dressed looking nightgown, you know, yeah. and I can't tell, you know, cause she, you could see through her pretty much. And he's like, he's like, you know, you can tell that's not a person. Yeah. He had no idea that this, this was in his videos until I went back and watched them. Yeah. And Carl, you're right. Like I used to watch this guy. I loved him. Cause I love to see like really gorgeous like buildings like and and how they just let them rot it drives me crazy that's why i had to stop watching them because i I'd, I'd call every damn historical society saying like why aren't you saving these buildings anyway so he would go into a lot of the those kind of places like really popular place that were popular at one time and now is just decaying so he went into this hotel and i'll never forget he doesn't do any paranormal just does goes into these abandoned places and shows you these I know a couple of that too. buildings. I forgot the guy's name now. Oh, I don't watch him anymore, but I used to watch yeah, him I think all he's the time. Still, if the, if talking about the one I'm thinking of, he went into this, to this hotel, motel, whatever it was. It was a hotel, I believe, and uh, he, he got freaked out. He, it, it's it, a heavier set guy, very popular. He has tons and tons, I don't know, on YouTube. Yeah. He was uh, big. Um, his name I the heavier set guy but he um he, he he was so funny he went into and this was a big fancy hotel it wasn't a motel it was fancy like gorgeous red carpet like like it was a fancy like expensive hotel that was now i guess they were going to knock it down or whatever or so he was getting in there you know um near the end and he was showing it anyway so he goes and he's like what the heck is that? And it was like a black shadow standing there looking at him. And he's like, oh, okay. And he just kind of went around the other way, like kind of ignored it. Then like the doorknob started shaking on one of them. He's like, what the frick? So he went like a little more and, and something else happened. He's like, you know what, guys? I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go downstairs. <laughs> he went downstairs. He showed a little bit more. That video was the shortest he had. He was like, yeah, fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> He was like, I don't do, I don't do this kind of stuff. I do. He was just like fit to be tied. <laughs> he was like, no, I don't do any of this. This is, you know, I'm just looking at the building. Like he didn't want none of that. He didn't want no part of it. It was quite funny. Um, epic. Um, not epic. Uh, uh, abandoned boys. Uh, he does urban exploration nice. and. And he didn't realize he was catching stuff either. So mm -hmm. I told him. And so that's, that's two channels that I that I got into the paranormal because they because I watched their videos and showed them what they were missing. Yeah. This is what you're missing. A lifetime of curiosity and trying to prove to people things exist and they don't want to know nothing. <laughs> That's why I stopped really trying to prove it to people because I'm like, no, nah, I know it exists. I'm not going to. 
I'm not trying to make non-believers believers, you know. I just do this to talk well, to I'm not either, but I, I um so I I haven't been doing as much ex ghost hunting as I used to. Now I'll go and and I'll go to like cemeteries and stuff to help cross the spirits over and I'll do a little investigation for you guys because I know you guys love it and I know you guys are out to help the spirits too so I don't mind it but I don't do all that but that well, I didn't just go and freak them out I said do you believe in the paranormal and one said well well the one said he said I kind of do he said I've had a couple experiences Secret. and the other one said the other one said well no not really I'm he said I'm kind of a skeptic and he said why and I told him I said, I, I have something to show you that you're missing. And I messaged him and told and showed it to him. And he said, Oh my God. <laughs> so like, uh, uh, that, well, well, like the, the, those kinds of people who are making the videos and you show them their own footage. Yeah. That's one thing. But I mean, I'm not going to go try to like, you know, right. no, I'm not gonna do that he either. wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't, he himself wasn't trying to prove paranormal. He was doing right. urban exploring and he caught it. Like, yeah, like I do, when I was doing my historical vlogs, I was just doing historical vlogs. I wasn't doing paranormal and I would catch all sorts of stuff. Disembodied voices. Um, she Ethan Manning is one of my know that has caught stuff. People uh, in the windows. Did. So, you know, uh, it, it definitely happens, but I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, going to you know like trying to see what fun is like i'm saying um, unless i'm you know i'm not getting paid to be a scientist to prove this stuff so um and i'm not gonna fight with people you watch my stuff th this is more what i'm saying you watch my stuff you enjoy it good um i, I don't want to fight with you to say like oh i know this is a spirit if you don't believe it's a spirit you don't i'm not telling you what to believe you know hi i'm cat honey so i'm not i'm not i just put up the video i tell you what i think it is you don't believe it i don't care <laughs> that's it you know and um you you can think whatever you want you could think it's a you know a shadow from a 90 foot bug i don't care what you think you know <laughs> It's not for me to prove it. I just put up the video because, like I said, I I enjoy the stuff. And um, I put up the video. I say, I don't know. What do you guys think? This is why I feel that it's something paranormal. Because there's no way a bug from 90 feet away can make a 50-foot shadow on the, on the wall. There's no way. There's no bug big enough. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you decide. And I always leave it up to you guys because, you know, like I said, I don't know <laughs> exactly, you know, um, but I don't try to make anybody believe anything. You know, you believe what you want to believe. You see what you want to see. It's all up to you. Um, but I love doing it. So I'll keep doing it like for myself and putting up the videos. Um, but I'm not like, yeah. I don't, I don't even bring a quarter of the equipment I used to bring with me anymore because if you're trying to prove the paranormal, you need all the EMFs, all the balls, all this, all that, all, all this REM pods, what they don't have. I don't have none of that. <laughs> I go, I'm lucky if I remember the EMF meter half the time. Um, I don't even bring the spirit box. I'll bring my app. Uh, sometimes I'll bring the spirit box if I think I, I might have to do a crossover because I'll need it to do a crossover. But usually, you know, oh shit, I, I didn't bring anything here. I'll just use the app on my phone, uh, my extra phone, you know, but otherwise, mm -mm, I give up. I have gone all the way back to three years before I graduated. I can't find her. Your head is hurting now. Oh, I'm sorry, Kim. I'm sure it will come to you. The Herberex bunch catch a good amount of stuff only to find out when editing or hear or see something. Right. Right. They catch a whole bunch of stuff. And usually sometimes they'll catch it in editing be like, I don't, I don't know what this is. Or they'll edit the video, put it up and, you know, don't say anything about it, of course, because they're, you know, they're not paranormal channels. I'll be like, oh, my God, did they see this? <laughs> it's just bugging me. 
Yeah, well, I'm sure Penelope or someone will tell you where to find it. Maybe they can they can help you out. Be like, hey, listen. <laughs> it might be a book you don't have. If she was older than you. Um, oh, she was older than you. So she, she would have graduated a year before. Yeah. Or two years before. Hmm. No, probably a year before you. You're right. Joy or Joyce. Yeah, maybe they can help you find her. Mm -hmm. But guys, I love you guys. But I, uh, Mary, I have to call it quits. Uh, <laughs> I have to eat something, guys. Like yeah, I'm, I'm good with that because I'm, I'm ready to go too. I haven't, I haven't eaten and now I have a big crossover. I'm glad y'all talked to us tonight. Y'all take care of spirits. Thank you, spirits, for talking right. with us and using the meters and all that good stuff. We super appreciate it. Um, that's it. I, 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 don't know, I don't know what I was going to say. Uh, Good Look night. for Mary. She might yeah. go live if she's feeling well. She might go live on her normal Sunday, I hope. Yeah, if I if I feel good enough, you guys, it's all if I feel good enough. I mean, I will try my best this Sunday to go live. To yeah. have enough energy to do paranormal. That's what it it's what it takes. And yeah, because now after tonight, I'll probably sleep and sleep mm -hmm. half tomorrow and all day tomorrow and <laughs> that's right well thank you thank you to everybody who's still here right, we have everybody. kim carl m cat um diane yeah. maybe still here um maybe we got cassie still here not sure um but thank you to all that hung out with us we might have some lurkers i don't know um so, and we're going to play the outro, say goodnight to all. You're still here, Cassie. That's great. So, um, I put up the video, I believe it's up already, of <laughs> for anybody who wasn't here in the very beginning of this four and a half hour live stream, I put up the video sharing the information about the spirit box that we played in the beginning. So, you can watch this live stream back when it goes up, or you're more than happy to watch the video keep an eye out for Mary. Yeah. And we'll be here next Thursday with another device. <laughs> and then, um, Wednesday, you know, I'll do my divination Wednesday. So you'll definitely see me Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Uh, and then, like I said, just look for Mary when she's feeling well, she'll be doing a live stream. And, um, yeah, guys, I'm going to play the outro. It's funny. If you never stayed for the outro, stay for the outro. It's super cute. Love y'all. Good night. Okay, Mary, stay with me after for a second. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining my co-host, Mary, and I for another Spiritual Learning Thursday. Every Thursday, we go over... Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you. We are so glad you came. 
Okay, bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Is everyone gone? Huh? <sighs> Good. Oh my gosh, my cheeks are killing me. I can't keep smiling like this anymore. I'm exhausted.